<laughs> this is very spooky music. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a good week. Good to see Axel Shadow live in chat. Once again, we delve back into the survival horror of Donkey Kong. I mean, to be honest, there were some moments of platforming where surviving was full of horror. As I fell down many bottomless pits. But yeah, we're actually, we're going to be starting up Creepy Castle, the seventh world in tonight's stream. So that is why we got the, we got the spooky vibe going on here. The TD Cash credit card gives no! you a No! Stop it! TD Bank, I don't care. Thank you. All right, sorry about that. Hey, Craig. I got to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay today. Hope you're doing well. I don't have much energy today, so it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty chill, uh, pretty chill stream here. So don't expect much out of me. We're just going to be playing some, some DK. <laughs> But good to see everybody live. Hope you're doing well. And if you're watching the VOD after the fact, welcome. I hope you enjoy Monkey. Yeah, we'll get started in just a few minutes here tonight. Excited to jump back in. Get started with World 7. We're inching ever closer to being done, including the 100% completion. It is just beyond the close horizon. So soon enough, we'll be there. I'll have to check the completion percentage again. I feel like it was like 80 something. Is either 60 or 80? I want to say it was 80. Well, maybe 70. I don't know. It, it's been it's been eight days since I last streamed, so I'm completely talking out of my ass right now. So I'll have to double check in the save file and see, but it's close. So I'm fully caught up. Got a complete creepy castle, and then whatever the eighth level ends up being, and then uh, collect everything on DK Isle, and then do the final part. Part of me's wondering. Considering this is a rare 3D platform, and I really hope not. I hope we just get to go to the final boss. Is there going to be a quiz show like there was in Kazooie and Tui for Banjo? Like, I really hope not. I like to think since it's a different property, they won't do that. But I don't know. Don't spoil me if you know. But We'll find out eventually. I am curious to see whether I'll end up finishing this game first or Shadow the Hedgehog first. Because I think... I know, I know it just started Shadow the Hedgehog last week as of this stream, but I really don't think it's going to take me that long. Like six, seven parts max. So I might still finish this game first. We'll see. So do you want to know if this goes? Um, no, Axel Shadow. Like I said, I just, yeah, don't spoil me. I'll find out later. So no, don't, don't, don't say in the chat. The fact that you phrased that question that way makes me think there is. But I hope not. Rare, take pity on me, please. Um, that is a kind of a rare staple, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. But no need to let me know just yet. I'll figure out soon. I like going into games as blind as possible. If I can, if I can help it. There's a part where I'm stuck on that's another story, because then it's like, a, you know, <laughs> I don't want to be stuck on it for too long. Otherwise, it's like half the stream's wasted on that. You know what I mean? Don't even get me started on the stupid rabbit race in uh, Fungi Forest. Oof. Glad I beat that last time. One last thing I gotta worry about. You excited for the Xbox? Wait, there's an Xbox showcase on Sunday? Craig, I was not aware of this. This is news to me. To be honest, I haven't been looking at news later. 
Is it really? Huh, let me look it up before we start here. Craig, I'm not seeing anything. I see... I see something about them announcing their showcase on June 9th of this year, but I don't see anything about Sunday. What, what is it? Is it a game-specific showcase? Because I'm not think, seeing anything specific to Sunday's, what, the 14th? April 14th? Yeah, I don't see anything. Next week on Xbox. Oh, that's new games from April 10th to 14th. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries, Craig. No worries. I know recently they were, uh, Microsoft was, or Xbox was talking about how they were going to have a June 9th showcase. But um, for anybody who was interested, they did have the Triple I initiative uh, video uh, stream go up yesterday, and I did do a reaction to that last night, so... Which, that was a decent presentation, and for our first time, too, it's pretty good. So definitely check that out if you're curious. Um, if you're into those kind of indie games, but... Oh, why is this music so loud? That's why. Let me turn it down just a smidge. Just a smidge. All right. With that, though, we are good to get started here with tonight's monkey-themed stream. What is going on, all of you amazing gamers and monkey enthusiasts out there in the world? I am the game, so thank you for being here. However you watch, I know I say this every time, it's just, it's become like the intro for me, but it's like, I really do mean it. However you watch, if you're live in the chat or just chilling, not in the chat, or you're watching the VOD after the fact, thanks for being here. Thanks for taking your time to watch any amount, interact any amount, however you do. We are here to go over more Donkey Kong 64. So last time I was able to wrap up uh, Crystal Caves, I think it's just what it was called, and finally beat the bunny race in Fungi Forest. So that was great, good progress there. Um, we're going to start the seventh world being Creepy Castle. Now, I think I already have the entrance to it unlocked, if I remember correctly. It unlocked at the same time as Crystal Caves, from what I remember. Um, I just got to remember where exactly it is, but we'll be starting that and going through there. So with that, any audio or video issues, if you are watching live and you're in the chat, definitely do let me know because, you know, especially with switching between a bunch of different games, that just like tends to happen. So... If it's too loud or too quiet, or you're not hearing or seeing something, I can always adjust on the fly. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was 79. That's pretty much 80%. 28 hours. Oof. Oof. Donkey Kong. All right. So how are we looking? Let me check my totals before I actually jump in here. DK Isle. Yeah, I'll have to do this eventually. I, I mean, I have about half the stuff on DK Isle. That's pretty good. 162. Well, let me think. So, because there's 25 golden bananas for each level. So 25 times 6 levels I've already done would be 150. And 12, uh, yeah, okay. 12 I've collected here. 6 out of 10. So, yeah. That seems like we're pretty much fully caught up. And I got those tokens. Yeah. Cool. All right. I mean, anything else I'm missing, I can clean up later. But. The audio is too quiet. Can you turn up a little bit? Oh, the game audio? Yeah, sure, sure. How's that? Is that too much? Too much or is that better? Um. Oh. No, it's not where I want to go. Please, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Let me. Well, I just turned it up. Let me know if that's any better. It looks better in OBS, at least. All right, so was this? No, because I think this was Frantic Factory, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, I came across the entrance to Creepy Castle in a previous stream. I don't remember where it is, but I'm pretty sure this is the factory. That's good? Okay, cool. Glad I could help. Right, is this Frantic Factory? Yeah, it is. All right, I don't want to go back here. But I want to say the entrance to Creepy Castle was on this side. Could be wrong, but I feel like I remember it being over here. Maybe not. Hmm. 
maybe it... Hmm, no, you know what? Maybe it wasn't over here. Give me a sec. I feel like I remember coming across it when I was trying to find the entrance to Crystal Caves. Which probably means it'd be somewhere along this way. Right, because obviously this was... Was it this that was Fungi Forest? Right? I don't know why it's in the shack. Yeah, that's Fungi Forest. You love June June is a wonderful time for game. Oh, I don't know why you read that as June June. June is a good time for gaming, you know? There's a lot of different uh, stuff going on. Trying to see. Okay. No, June is definitely, I mean, there's always, June's always an exciting time. I mean, it used to be an even more exciting time back when E3 was around. But, you know, it still is. It still has that kind of vibe to it. Um, right, because this is the entrance to Crystal Caves, right? Right. Which I don't want to do that. So... I'm really trying to remember that. I came across it in the previous stream. I just don't remember where it was. Why does Diddy sound like Mickey Mouse? Alright, so it's not there. What's over here? It could be over. I mean, to be honest, it would make sense if it was over on that side of the island. What is that entrance there? Maybe that's it? Could be one of those. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of inevitable that it would die off eventually. Craig, you're right. Okay, I feel like it's still over on that other side of the island. There's also these boulders, which I could do something about, but one of them was like a banana, I thought. Whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> I feel like it was over here. Maybe not this high up, though. Because that's... I feel like it was somewhere over here. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, and unfortunately, just like... It's like, how does a... How does a show like E3 stay relevant in a world where... Oh, it was the big cannon, wasn't it? Okay, I think it was the big cannon. Forgot about this cannon. Um, how does E3 stay relevant in a show, in, in a world where all these publishers do digital events, right? So, unfortunately, that was kind of a, a bit of an issue there. Yeah, there we go. All right, this is what I want. You know, so. And I know they tried to open up E3 to the public, and honestly, from what I've heard from some, because E3 was always a press-related event. From what I've heard from some... Um, like, journalists who went there, they were like, yeah, like, it really should not have been... Like, it almost sounded like it should have been... Oh, that's a chunky bullet. Let me do that. It, they shouldn't have opened it up to the public, because it just kind of made things worse. But... Yeah, I don't know. It's unfortunate. But it's like, now we have Summer Game Fest, which isn't quite the same. I don't know. Jeff Keighley just has a very interesting... I know we've complained about him here, but... He's a very strange, um like idea behind game presentations it's very like hollywood best you know so it's definitely a different vibe than something like eve lanky all right all right let me get lanky out here you know so is summer games has quite any for your placement i mean if you're looking just for game announcements yeah I can say so, because you're still going to get a lot of game announcements at something like Summer Game Fest, but it's... I don't know. It was a different style. So it's not quite a replacement, you know? Am I floating up as Lanky? Where are we going, Balloon Boy? Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Give me that bonus barrel. Welcome to bonus stage. Welcome to bonus stage. Searchlight Seek. Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. We're getting to the point where... We're getting to the point where they're all kind of repeating and blending together. And it's sad. It could be a bit much. I 
It's like, I wish there was more variety or just don't have as much of it, you know what I mean? I don't even know how many times I've done this minigame. It's been quite a bit. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. Come on, bro. Close. The game awards needs to improve, for sure. And it's like, it's weird because it's been going on for, like, what, 10 years at this point, I think, the game awards? Something around then? Something around there? It's had a lot of time to improve, and in some ways it has, and in some ways I feel like it hasn't. So it's, I don't know, I kind of wish. I don't know, Jeff Keighley just has a very interesting style of presentation. Where, I don't know. Some people like it, some people don't. Hey, Neto. <laughs> Neto, I know you're going to come in here and complain about Jeff Keighley. Which, hey, totally valid. Just needs a good host. Yeah, Jeff's not the best host. Come on, I haven't got all day, blah, 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 yeah. Just eat my bananas, bro. I have more than double. Oh, you know what, I should've, what am I doing? I should've checked the hints first. Oh well, I'll go back. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The Kongs are recovering the blueprints to a stupid machine. Fatso, is it? I'd choose your last words more carefully if I was you. What's that, who's there? Oh, the enemy's literally called Kasplat, that's wild. Interesting style is a long way to say bad. Neto! Like, obviously everybody has their own opinions. I don't think Jeff's present personally, I don't think Jeff's presentation style is bad. But I wouldn't say it's particularly great. You know what I mean? He does a lot of dumb stuff. But I mean he's had some good announcements. As a host, he could be he could be awkward for sure. Yeah, send him to the clap trap. Send him to the clapping of the trap. All right, hold on. Let me check those hints first before we start. So personally, I wouldn't. I don't think Jeff's presentation style is bad. It's just different. I'm not a huge fan of the Hollywood. Oh, interesting. The Hollywood esque style. It's weird. I don't know. So, like, when some people say that, like, Summer Games Fest is a replacement for E3, like, I don't agree with that just because it's it's a completely, ooh, nice, completely different style, you know? Personally, I don't think it's bad. It's just, it's very different and better in some ways, worse than others. I don't know. I don't know. To each their own, of course, but. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't get any sort of enjoyment out of um, Jeff Keighley's presentations, because I do. It's just not fully. You know, that's just me, though. Alright, they're really gonna make me do that again. Okay. Alright, let's kill these enemies. You think he does the bare minimum and would work fine if he didn't. The charisma of a warm beer in the summer. Oh, yeah. In terms of, like, being an entertaining host, I'd probably agree with you. I don't know if I'd say he's necessarily an entertaining host. Yeah, you know, okay, that I can agree with, because you're talking about his hosting abilities and not, like, the presentations themselves. Which, to be honest, most of the enjoyment out of the presentations is, like, the announcements and not necessarily him as a host. I, I, I could agree with that. He's not a very charismatic host. I don't know. Like, we all just kind of make fun of him, to be honest. <laughs> Bye. Oh. I forgot I didn't have my jump when I had the guns out. Damn it, now I gotta do DK again. But yeah, no, I, I, I can agree with that, Neto. I can agree with that. Granted, I'm trying to think of a good video game presentation host that we've had. I feel like Phil Spencer's okay. I, well, Reggie. Reggie's probably the peak for me. But even some of the other Nintendo... Uh, the people who are filling in, like... Um, oh, crap. Well, Koizumi, but I'm trying to think of the other... 
dude's name. I completely I can't think of his name. Is it Takahashi? It might be Takahashi. Um, like, I feel like they do a decent job. But, yeah, Re I mean, Reggie was like... Reggie definitely had more charisma, for sure. He was a much more, like, enjoyable host in that regard. If we're talking hosting abilities, yeah. Want to hear the funny thing? The triple I didn't have a host in the time. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. That's going for, like, a very... Yeah. Very different vibe. You know? Depends on what you like, right? With Yeah, with how, without having a host there, you're just focusing on the announcements, and, yeah, no, like, boring host to fill in in between. Yeah, I totally get that. Game Awards isn't quite trying to do that, because it's still trying to be a live show, and so they try to have some things that only live shows can do. But the moments with Jeff in between as hosts, I agree, are not very entertaining, and sometimes it's kind of annoying. Or it's his guests that are more entertaining than him. Which, I mean, you do want to highlight your guests more, so... Bro, I forgot to do the hints again. That's why I went back there. Give me a second. You know? So... Yeah, I can I can agree with that. I agree with that. Sakurai was pretty good. Yeah, Sakurai was good. Yeah, he was very informational, if you're into that sort of thing. He was very informational. We don't need a live show. Well, I mean, that is, that's a matter of opinion. You know, I mean, do you need a live show to see game announcements? No, but some people like that. Some people prefer that, you know? It really depends on what you want. Get Tiny inside the ballroom, then monkey port into the museum. Can you just say teleport? Monkey port's such a weird word. You knew what he was talking Yeah, the thing with Sakurai, yeah, exactly. He knew so much about what he was talking about. If all else fails, get Chunky to punch it. Nice. Think of Peter Jackson, it'll make a great Donkey Kong film. <laughs> Why, because he did the uh, the King Kong <laughs> movie? That'd be funny. Andy. Pull the levers, bottom left, top right. Hello? You want me to remember that? No, I gotta hold on. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Give me a quick second. Andy Circus doing Donkey Kong mocap? I mean, if they were going for a serious Donkey Kong short, sure. that could be interesting. All right. Wrinkly, you're gonna have to give me that again. I did not see that in the slightest. But yeah, it really depends. In terms of the game presentation thing, it really comes down to what you personally prefer. Some people prefer just the news. Some people want the live presentations. You know, it really just depends. There you go. Screenshot in that, you know? So, I feel like each, each have their pros and cons. If you're looking for just gaming news delivered directly to you, quote a water, um, rest in peace, then yeah, not having not having it as a live show can be great. But there are some cool, like I will say, like I personally really like the live music performances at the Game Awards, and I know not everybody does, but I, I personally do like those. Exercise the ballroom, then, then light the something, okay. You know, so like, I don't know. Like, sure, you could technically do that in a pre-recorded video, but it, it wouldn't be the same. Right? The cool part is that it is a live performance, so. I don't know, I feel like you miss out on some stuff like that. But, no, I totally get you about the Jeff not being a very charismatic host. Because he's not. And that does degrade the quality of the presentation for sure. Have you seen Madam Web? I heard it's the Dark Knight of bad comic book films. I have not, and to be honest, I don't know if I really care to. I don't know, I don't really, I'm not really into the Spider-Man extended u cinematic universe. I haven't seen any of the Venom movies. I haven't seen Morbius even for the memes. The only clip I've seen of Morbius is when he says, it's Morbin time, which I know is 100% real. You only watch the live things when you watch someone reacting to it. If not, it's just boring. That's fair. No, that's totally fair Neto. And I mean, like, that's like a personal preference, right? So, this is a cool level thematically. You know, but that's totally fair. Adam Webb is fine. Keep a blow that out of proportion. Oh, what about it being bad? Is part of it just like... 
Is part of it, you think, just the fact that Morbius was so bad and people are trying to say it's like that level? You think that's part of it? Oh, I, I feel like I should have gotten that. Oh. I did do that a lot by accident, so get ready for more of that. Hitting the Wii U Virtual Console menu. Ooh. Oh crap. Oh. That was close, okay. It's definitely not Morbius level, okay. Good to know. Oh, all right, in we go. You saw the Joker 2-2's trailer, it looks good. Oh, I didn't even know they up, uh, uploaded the trailer for that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, like, I mean, I didn't, I personally didn't love the, the Joker film. I don't know. It was definitely not a movie I'd watch more than once. I saw it once and I said, that's good enough for me. Um, and I'm, honestly, I'm not going to lie, and this is just my opinion, but I feel like that was a movie that shouldn't have gotten a sequel. I'm sure the sequel will be decent, but I don't know. I feel like you just lose out on some of the impact of the original movie by having a sequel. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. There we go. If you ask for a top five bad Marvel movies, Madame Web is sure not on the list. I mean, if you ask for a top five worst Marvel movies, are we counting those films? Because I feel like that's a very, uh, I don't know. I, I, I tend to count those separate from like the MCU films, but that's just me. Maybe not even top 10. Gotcha. Okay. So it seems like it's whatever. Nothing, nothing special, but nothing like horrible. Worth a watch? No. It almost sounds like it might be like a kind of a boring film, Neto, based on what you're saying. Come on, one of these has to land. A little higher up. These sticks weren't so sensitive. Bro. There we go. Joker 2 is done filming. Oh, and Beetlejuice is done filming. Cool. Very nice. Beetlejuice 2, I'm definitely more curious about. I want that to be good. It's also been a long time, so I don't know if it will be, but... We count superhero movies in general. There's a lot of movies worse than... But oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Like, I'm guessing a lot of DC films are on that list. <laughs> They're Marvel characters, but I get... Yeah, see, I don't, I don't necessarily base it off of the characters. I base it off of... For me, I base it off of the studio making the movies because the people making the MCU movies are different than the people making like the, I guess the Sony Marvel movies. Are they all based in the Spider-Man universe thinking about it? I feel like they are, unless I'm forgetting something. I mean, I guess there's like X-Men and other shit, but. You know, so I, I, I personally do count those separately, yeah. I hear you, where are you? Actually, yeah, oh, You're up there, I see. Crap. For sure, they're different people, but they made a lot of shit movies. Right, but it's the, what I'm saying is I don't, I don't personally include them in the same grouping because, yeah, I mean, both studios made shit movies, but they're different studios. Like that's what makes me distinguish personally between the different groups. I don't know how I got that, but okay. Um, so that's why I don't personally include them. If I was talking overall superhero movies, like sure, sure. But if I'm talking, when I when I am talking about Marvel movies, I'm usually, I mean, just because I haven't seen a lot of those, I personally like to talk about just the MCU ones specifically. Just because I, I feel like they're on a different scale, you know? 
People got fed up on Marvel Phase 3 that they forgot Dark World exists. I never forgot. Dark World is a bad movie. Yeah, Marvel, I mean, even like the Hulk isn't that good. Iron Man 3 is not that good. Can I just say that? Well, okay, let, let me clarify. I personally think Iron Man 3 is not great. Bro, it's not even close. What, what do you want? What? What do you mean? Yes, I see the target there. But I can't shoot it. It's too far away. I can't hit it from here. What do you want me to do? Watching X-Men. Oh, nice. I've heard good things about X-Men 97. Literally nothing. Iron Man 2 and 3 are not good. People forgive them because of War Machine. Yeah. I I actually like 2 more than 3 myself. But I know that's a hot take that we don't have to get into. I just think it's funny. I don't know. Iron Man 3 is just like, I don't know. I, I, I'm still pissed off what they did in the Mandarin. But... That nah, just wasn't a huge fan of that one. I could talk about... MCU all day, but I don't have any energy for it. All right. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that one. Good. Good. Glad I could see that. Very glad. It's cool that they brought back that cartoon. Like, that's a very un-Disney thing to do. And, like, the fact that they did that's actually very cool, I think. Alright, let me switch to... Oh, well, I see Banana over there. I already have DK's blueprint, so that's good. Oh, you know what? Let me switch to... No, before I do that... Um... Was there a character barrel in here? There was a character barrel somewhere, I thought. No? Did I not come across one yet? Maybe not. Spider-Man 3 is really... Yeah. Spider-Man 3, for me, is, like, so bad it's good, personally. It's like, that movie's so corny. I kind of love it for that reason, though, but it's not a great movie at all. That was unfortunately the product of uh, executives getting involved there, because, like, literally, as Sam Raimi wanted it to be, the main focus should have been Sandman. Venom should not have been involved in Spider-Man 3. That made that movie worse. They really... It should have been Sandman. And I know that wouldn't have been as popular with people, but, like... It would have been a better movie, I think. All right, was this where the... Yeah, okay. Where were the... Oh, were they in the tree? There was a tree over there, too. I should check that other tree out. Let's see what's in there. Oh, oh. Man, these uh, bottomless pits are going to be the end of me. got to watch out. All right, yeah, is there anything in this tree? There's probably something up here. Okay, you know what I will say about this level? I like that they're factoring in the... Is it the intro music to the Donkey Kong stage? Like, that's really good. I like that little touch. Are you looking forward to Futurama Season 12 on July 29th? Oh, nice! I'm glad they announced the seasons. Um, honestly, I kind of phased out of Futurama. I have not watched the uh, the newest seasons on Hulu, but I've heard decent things. One of my buddies from high school, he's a big Futurama fan, and he was excited. I don't know if he ever got around to watching them yet, but I've heard decent things about the new Futurama season, so... Hey, glad to see that show get revived. A again. For How many times has it been? Like, four now? I'm trying to remember. That show's been revived many, many a time on Fox, and then when it was, it went to Comedy Central. Why did I switch to Donkey Kong? That is not what I meant to do. Oh well, I meant to switch to Chunky. Oh, that's a scary looking guy. Oh no, it's like the pirate ones from, uh, or the, the skeleton ones from uh, DKC, oh man. All right, well, let me collect these bananas. I gotta go back to that other area as Chunky later. How you doing? Some coins on. 
Hey, Pinata, good to see you live in chat, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's go up here. Get these banana. Oh, perfect, yeah. Let me go back here. I want to, before I forget and go too far, I do want to switch out for Chunky and go back into that little shack that or it was like in a tree, actually. Then we'll check that out. Pinata, how's the emulation been going? If you don't mind me asking. What a big lead. All right. It was in here? Yeah. There we are. Luck to sure. When in doubt, punch with Chunky, I'm guessing. Well, not this one, but... No, it was... Um... Yeah, the cracked one here. Cracked walls? No problem. Chunky got it. Still stressed? Yeah. Well, then I will not ask too much about it. But... Oh, okay. Oh, do I need to turn invisible and then shoot it, maybe? Ooh. All right. What was the invisible one again? Well, actually, didn't I need a chunky barrel for it now that I'm thinking about it? I feel like I did, right? I feel like I needed a chunky barrel. The new season of Disney Plus as well. Wait. Of what, Futurama? No, Futurama's on Hulu, but I know there's a Disney Plus bundle you can get Hulu with. Okay, I feel like... I feel like I need the chunky barrel. Let me see if I can shoot it from here. I doubt I can. But it's probably too far away, and that's why it's spawning them. Yeah, it's too far away. How's the screen team? Oh, I haven't played it yet. Listen, everybody. Everybody watching, I'll let you in on a little secret. When I buy games, I very, 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 very rarely play them immediately. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chunky. So, I have not played Risk of Rain 2 yet. I will let you know when I play it in the inevitable future. You'll be able to get to running 100% next week. Nice, or next week, but once you do, you'll send you everything. You have in order to not be such a pain to do it. Yeah, no worries, Pinata. No worries, you'll have to let me know how it goes, yeah. But hopefully you can get it up and running. There has to be a chunky barrel somewhere. Right? Because was it the chunky barrel that turned me invisible? I feel like it was, right? I feel like it had to have been. Nice. You know what I could do? This is a little thing I like to do called cheating. Future Amos on Disney Plus News. Are you sure it's... Are you sure it's Disney Plus? All the new seasons will come to Disney Plus eventually as Disney Plus owns Hulu or Disney owns Hulu. Right, I know they own Hulu, but... See, that's confusing to me because the newest season at the time, like a few months back, was exclusive to Hulu. Did they change that policy? Because I know they own Hulu. But there's a, sp a separate bundle you have to buy with Disney Plus to get Hulu. Like, I don't have Hulu with my Disney Plus. So you're saying it's just on Disney Plus. Like, if I were to look up Futurama right now on Disney Plus, it would give me results. Because if so, then that is a shocking move from Disney. I mean, I guess they have Simpsons on there, so right, so I wouldn't that. Yeah, Craig, it, I don't I don't get anything when I search for just Futurama on Disney Plus. I think you need the Hulu bundle. I didn't I just searched and I didn't get anything. Hmm? Alright, what am I actually looking up here? 
Good old game facts. Gloomy Galleon, Fungi Forest, Crystal Caves, Creepy Castle, Chunky. Big tree, punch for barrel, and use the sniper mode. Use the sniper mode to shoot the switch, but I... Alright, well, it's not telling me to turn invisible, but I wasn't reaching the, the switch, but let me try it again. They did? Are you sure? Because there's no search results when I search for Disney Plus. Are you sure it's not specific Disney Plus plans? Because there maybe if you have Hulu with it, it adds it to the app. I want to clarify, I, I do not have Hulu. Hmm, let me think game facts. Does this look like I'm hitting the switch? Okay, I mean, if you say so, I'll take your word for it, but I'm not able to access it, so I, I guess I can't watch it for some reason. All right, well, what? You don't need the Hulu bundle? Well, then, I mean, I don't, I'm just trying to figure out why I can't. I don't search anything. Like, nothing comes up. Let me make sure my app is updated. First of all, that might be it. Mm, no, it should be up to date. Well, let me do, let me refresh and see. Yeah, there's no more updates for it, but um, just to be safe. Yeah, I just, I can't seem to access it for some reason, so. Could just be my plan for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I have an outdated plan. It's a skill issue. Yes, it's a Disney Plus skill issue. Yeah. Regardless, I don't have access, so I guess I wouldn't be able to watch it unless I got. I would. I would. I would need Hulu because it's not coming up in search results for me. So. Okay. So Game Facts, what the hell are you talking about? Chunky Kong. Enter the victory. Punch the crack wall. Use the sniper mode to shoot the switch. Is there? Well, actually, that would... Mm, I have an idea. All right. There's got to be a weapon upgrade. Where's Funky? That's probably what it is. There's got to be a weapon upgrade that's a separate mode that lets you zoom in. That's got to be what it is. All right. Well, let me find that then. Oh, I'll take some chunky coins, except why are they just chilling at the bottom of a cliff? Hello? So what happens if I go here? I, I, I'm worried I'm going to fall down a bottomless pit. Yeah, I am. What? The, what? You don't have Hulu either, unless they removed it, or it's only available to some It could be a regional thing. Oh, you know what? It definitely could be a regional thing. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the U.S., so it could be because of that. Honestly, that I can see because... Right, Netflix does similar stuff with regional-based stuff, which is really annoying, by the way, but... It's just, yeah, I hate when they do that. So it's it's got to be a regional thing. Well, I mean, it's cool that it's available just straight up on Disney Plus in other regions. Like, that's interesting. Yeah, like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Unless there's an ability that Chunky gets to, like, start floating in midair, which, if this game keeps doing abilities like that, I, I don't know what to make of it. Monkeys shouldn't fly. <laughs> Except for flying monkeys. I don't even want to bother grabbing that last green coin. I'm not even going to bother. Hey, how's it going, bro? Alright, so I want to find... I honestly do want to find out where... Uh, where Funky is, then. Because he's probably going to give me a weapon upgrade. So I can zoom in more with... Um, with, uh, with the guns. Look at the big chunky lad. But yeah, I could get Hulu, at least in the States, if I wanted to watch it, but... Yeah. I've never owned Hulu. Personally, I don't really have much of a reason to own Hulu, but... 
I'm sure if you like some of the other concepts they have there, it's good. Oh, which that reminds me, because the Knuckle Show's coming out in a bit. Mikey, all right. I gotta get a... I gotta figure out a way I can get a... onto some... someone's Paramount Plus for that. I mean, I know this is the free trial, which, to be fair, I probably would be into that show anyways. Hello? Oh, this is a little creepy. Oh, that's... Okay, that was Diddy. Yeah, I don't think I want to go into it just yet, then. Run! Love you, Chunky. All right. Anything over here? There's got to be something. You're going to watch the Knuckle Show with your friend? <laughs> with your friend, Jack Sparrow. Wait, Neto, I'm confused. Is that like supposed to be a joke or are you serious? Like, I, I, sorry, if you have a friend named Jack Sparrow, that's pretty cool. You could always get a VPN, you'd be able to access. True. That's why you need NordVPN. Enter sponsorship. Um, listen, NordVPN, you want to sponsor me? I will decline. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, that is, that is a little selling point of uh, getting some of those VPN. Things. Um. What is this? There's a hole in there. I don't know if I'm supposed to go in. Oh, chunky. Right, it bypasses the G ride. I've heard it does, which is cool. That is a cool incentive. Oh, it's looking a little spooky in this area. Let me grab these chunky bananas while I am chunky. So yeah, it could be use case. I just, I don't really watch streaming services enough to like warrant that kind of purchase, but it is nice. It's a joke because you don't own. Oh, 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 Now I get it, now I get it. Okay, it took me a second, took me a second, Neto. I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh, there's candy. Not the Kong I wanted to see, but I won't complain. I gotcha now. Yeah, I might be able to mooch off of either my parents or one of my buddies or, um, I know they have the, it's like a seven day free trial right now. I know they have a free trial of some sort. Some friend, some friends have because of soccer games and they say it's not a good service. Yeah. No, it's, they seem pretty limited. For sure, Neto. They seem pretty limited. In terms of kind of content. I mean, if you're into like watching old Nickelodeon stuff, right? Paramount has all that. So if you're into that, like they got that, but. If you're not into the, I could see why you wouldn't really care. Also, didn't they make, was it the Super Bowl was exclusive to Paramount Plus this year or something like that? I don't know. I know they had the Nickelodeon version, but there was something else. Are they making another one? See, we say the final chapter. I, they really should have just ended it. They should have just ended it after three. Should have just been a trilogy, could have laid it to rest, but of course it's Disney, so they're not gonna do it. Oh, cool. Sure. Let's upgrade that instrument. What does that do? Oh, cool. Very nice, all upgrades. All your instruments, so they've now got more musical energy. I will say it's nice that I don't have to um, switch to every Kong and go in every time. That's wild that they're making another Pirates of the Caribbean. I remember back in my day, they made original movies and not just sequels. But then again, it's Hollywood. They want their money. What are you going to do? Okay, some... Uh... Diddy coins, all right. But yeah. Will it be any good? Will I see it? No. Will it be any good? Who's to say? Oh. Yeah, I messed up. Messed up a big time. Oh, don't bring me. No. 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 Now I don't remember where I was at. Now I don't remember. Why you gotta do me like that, DK64? Why you gotta do me like that, bro? 
I think it was all the way around here. I don't remember. Hi, Luke. Good to see you uh, live in chat. Pretty well. It's boomers. They don't know how to introduce anything new. Oh, you mean like boomers running the comp? Well, is it boomers or is it whatever the generation above them is? I mean, yeah, it's all. I mean, you're right about it. It's just all these older executives that are like, oh, you know what made us a lot of money? This franchise. Let's make another one. Right? Like, they're making another Shrek. They're making... They just made a Kung Fu Panda 4 out of nowhere. They're making another Beetle... Well, Beetlejuice, I feel like, could be good, though. Depending on how they handle that one. Like, there are some where if it's been, like, decades, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's bring on a spiritual successor. Let's do that. Yeah, or those above... Look at this game as a gem. Oh, sorry. I wasn't talking about um, this game. I was, we were talking about movies, actually, at that point, but... I see what you're saying. They are making another. They're making a Shrek 5. Yep. It's been in the works for years, and they're they're making another one. For better or for worse. Yay, Tiny. Good job. There we go. Welcome to bonus game. Yeah, they've been working on Welcome that one. Welcome to and bonus forth. stage. Oh, this is funny. I think I played this one before, right? Keep the channel spinning by feeding the snakes and melons. All right. sacred anymore? No. <laughs> Everything must be tainted. You're not looking forward to Toy Story 5 at all, Disney? Uh, yeah, man. Toy, like, Toy Story should have ended with 3. 4 was okay. Toy Story really should have ended with 3. That's a big one. That was literally the perfect ending. Was Toy Story 3. And they went and butchered the thing. They just had to. They're like, we want more money. You forgot it's capitalism. Yup. Yup. That's what happens in a capitalistic society. Just all the cash grabs. Oh. Oh, it's spooky time. Is that lanky? Oh. A red switch. That's weird. How do I get in there? Too much content, most of it not worth your time. No, it's fair. It's like, yeah. There's so much coming out, and there's so many sequels coming out. To be honest, in a way, it could be sometimes similar with games, where it's like... I've gotten to the point where I kind of just want to focus specifically on, like... You know, indie games, and... Other, you know what I mean? And then I'm really trying to reel back, because there's so much coming out. Funky has to destroy it. Funky has to... Okay, I'll look into, I'll look into that. Um, Luke, thank you. I'll let you know if I need any uh, advice with any of this stuff. As this is my first time going through. I know there's at least some upgrade I'm going to be able to get from Funky. Okay, so that is probably... Right, okay, so those are new. So... Oh, are you talking about Chunky? Hold up. Yeah, okay, it's Chunky chunk thing. All right. Um, to be fair, the names are pretty similar. That's going to be an upgrade, though. The red switch, that's probably going to be... That's going to be an upgrade I get, I imagine, in this level from Cranky. We'll see, though. Games are on the train as well, and it's the worst thing... Yeah. Exactly. And, I mean, to circle back to our original point, Neto... 
people like Jeff, Keely, are not helping the situation. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no worries, Luke. No worries, Luke. I, re I realized what you were saying after. But I actually will need to go to Funky, because I think that's where I get the sniper upgrade for the weapons. I will have to go to Funky for that, but... Yeah, let me break all these cages down with Chunky. Man, I have so many coins of Chunky. Wow. And I need lots of banana balloons. Very nice. Oh my god, the, the thumbstick on this gamepad. For anybody new watching, just to, for context, I am playing this via Wii U Virtual Console, so keep that in mind. As if needed, more of a reason to dunk on Jeff, exactly. <laughs> that would just happen naturally, man. It's just, you know, he's he's not helping with it, you know? But it depends on the game. Depends on the game, for sure. But Yeah, definitely, I mean, the Triple I showcase, I think, was pretty cool because of that. Like, to be honest, if it wasn't for that showcase, who knows if I ever would have bought... I think I would have eventually bought Hyper Light Drifter, but I probably would not have bought Risk of Rain 2. You know, just to highlight more of those kinds of games, you know? Like, that was really cool. I do hope more studios, indie studios, will jump on. Assuming they keep the, the AAA initiative thing going on in the future, which, I mean, I imagine they will be. It seemed like it was popular enough, right? Then, like, I really hope they do keep that going and more studios will jump on board. I'm still not a huge fan of the name because we don't. Re I don't feel like we really need to call indies like AAA. You know, I know it's a play on AAA, but like, do we really need to do that? Like, not really. Um, but I think it's cool. It's cool to have more in uh, indie focused events, right? That's what's really cool about that. That's oh, I've already been up here. Okay, like that's very cool. That was a blue planet I got, right? I'm trying to tell if it's blue lighting, and I was trying to tell if that's a lanky, but that's not, I don't think. Hollywood has run out of ideas. Yeah. Every once in a while, we get an interesting idea from certain directors and stuff, but... It feels like more and more rare these days. You won't mind the name if they start to bring more studios in. Even the really small ones. Yeah. I mean, there were... There was, well, I'm trying to, I, I mean, I guess I don't fully know. I feel like there were some smaller ones, right? There was the one who had never made a game, but they were published by Gearbox, so I wouldn't necessarily call. They, the, the oh, shout out to whoever just subscribed. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I feel like they could definitely bring on some smaller ones for sure. Like, it's not a bad name. It's just like, I don't know. Part of it rubs me the wrong way. It's like, it's like, why would you call it an indie presentation if it's, you now are almost categorizing indie games, which I mean, I guess the industry is already kind of doing, which is annoying, but tis the video game industry. All right, well, that's important. Oh, and I got a lot of crystal coconuts, so I am good. I'm just trying to think of where I would need to go as a Diddy right now for Jetpack. Probably somewhere high up. How high you want me to go? To the top of the castle? Oh, that's it? All right. Wow, Snide's at the very top, huh? Oh my god. I'm way too high up for this. What is happening? I'll see, now I'm going out of order and I have no idea what's going on. All right, now I know where I am. Shout out to Luke. Streamlabs actually worked. Well, except for the, oh, I didn't do the YouTube sub alert though. Unless I missed it. But shout out to Luke for subscribing. Thank you so much. One of the best games we played in the last two years, or the last years, was Unsighted. In the studio that only has two girls working. Never, I, yeah, I've never heard of that game. But that's cool. That's awesome, Neto. What kind of game is it? All right, so I'm. Oh, not that. No problem. It's a little delay, but yeah, no worries keep the interaction yeah no i definitely i mean and i've talked about this before but that's why i never want to become like a big streamer because i feel like like i've seen some streamers who just like so many people chat and, like it's cool that there are so many people there but also it's just like i feel like it gets overwhelming for the streamer to want to even read all those chats you know so i like the fact that i can mostly keep up with everybody 
Bro on site is a banger. It's a 2D. Ooh, action RPG. Okay. Okay. I I can vibe with action RPGs. Good to know. I'll have to keep that in mind. But yeah, Streamlabs does have a little bit of delay for sure, Luke. It's still better than Stream Elements was doing when I tried that, so. Think like a 2D Zelda, but more focus on the action? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Ah, oh man. There we go. Oh, back here, all right. Well, I don't think there was anything else for me to do right there just yet. Let me head back. Whoa! Is there anything below me right there? Oh, there is. Anything interesting over here? Don't mind, you saw your stream? You look at Friend 64 Dunkum content? You love this? Play it long as you know? Nice! Yeah, I've heard from a lot of people. I mean, Robbie, I know, also played this game when he was young, and he really enjoyed it. Yeah, this is my first time playing the game, so I'm definitely getting used to some of the... the ins and outs, for sure. It's... It's got some issues, but, like, it's charming as hell. As is the tradition with Rare. 3D platforms, you know? And did I make a mistake going after the 100%? I mean, maybe. <laughs> but too late, I'm ready in to know. Can this open? I can't. I want to warn you, it's a lot of backtracking. Yeah, no, I'm already starting to get that vibe. I mean, thankfully, I'm like 80% done. 80% completion. But definitely, oh, that's... That That's gotta be Diddy. I don't have his blueprint yet. I thought I did, but I guess not. Yeah, already I can tell. I mean, to be fair though, like honestly, honestly, Luke, I don't know if you've played Banjo Tooie, but I played that last year, right around this time, and this feels like less backtracking than Banjo Tooie to me. But maybe that's just, I don't know. Could have just been a time of year thing. I'm trying to go for it. I mean, already, we're... I mean, I've already put 30 hours in this game. Like, I'm already pretty far in. Yeah, banjo Two. I just found banjo Tooie a lot more unbearable, personally. We joke about games making should stream, but unsaid is a serious... Okay. Does it have to be stream, or can that just be a game I play? <laughs> Too many games for me to stream, man. Like... It could be a good one. could be a good one. I trust your judgment that it's a very good game, Neto. I just... I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm at the point where I was looking at my backlog today, and I once I get Paper Mario, I will be at exactly 150 games in my backlog, and I think that's where I'm drawing the line. I think that's where I'm like, all right, you know what? I've bought too many games without playing them. It is time to stop buying games altogether and just play the ones in my backlog. You know? So it's going to become... I know I always say this, but, like, I'm definitely going to be, like, really really refraining from buying a lot of games. Which Paper Mario? Uh, the remake. The remake coming out. I've never played Thousand Year Door. In that game, I'm gonna stream, I think. Be right back? No worries, Craig. You can just play. It's fine. It's kind of hard as well. Might just rage on stream. Oh, you guys know how I rage on stream, so. <laughs> uh, and I won't have any Manon simps to, to blame this time, Neto. <laughs> All right, nice. Now we should have the... Yeah, okay, so you can zoom in. Okay. Very nice. Did he say if there was a way to zoom in, like, naturally, or will it just shoot farther? Did that just home in on the enemy, too? There's no way. That'd be wild. All right, well, that's a boss gate. I don't need to do that yet. Much fun not. Bro, you're gonna talk about Street Fighter 6. <laughs> oh yeah, you knew. You knew, Neto. You knew where I was going. <laughs> they have tracking, if you remember correctly. Sorry, tracking and um. Sorry, what do you mean by tracking, Luke? Oh, the shooting. We'll have homing or tracking. Okay, interesting. Cause that's what it looks like. Oh, if only it had all the bananas, though. Or, sorry, the balloons, though. But yeah, no, that definitely... That 100% was homing in on the enemy right there. Oh my god, no way. No fucking way. Come on. Alright, let me stand over here. This this will probably be easier to shoot. 
I would like to not waste my ammo right here. Thanks. There we go. Much better. Try on Lanky. Oh, yeah, that's what it did. Yeah. Well, I was just using Lanky, right? Yeah. And it seemed to home in on the, the bat there. Also, in games here, it talks about Sifu's. On I saw that. I did see that, Neto, and I thought of you. I was like, I know I should check this game out. I'm just like, there's too many games. <laughs> I gotta draw the line somewhere. It's it's becoming un it's becoming unsustainable for me. Where it's like if I don't like absolutely cut it off at some point, I am literally screwed. Like I would like to play all these games eventually. It's gonna take me years, of course, but like I gotta cut losses where I can, you know. All right, there's a lanky switch. Let's see if we won the. Best game you play bad. I love it. Because <laughs> I've heard it's a hard game. But it, it's, a, it's a really cool idea. It, ow. That's a very neat idea for a game, I gotta say. Based on what I've heard and what you've told me. Seems like a really cool game. Alright, what's in here? What do, oh, no. Oh, that's... I thought that, that was one of the barrel crumblings, but it was not. Is this gonna like be like a speed run challenge or something? Like we got. It. Oh yeah, it's gotta be what it is. All right. Whoa! Give me a no, no, no! Give me this view. Oh my god! I should have uh, looked where to go first. Whoa! Oh, that was it. Oh man. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> it's pretty hard, but you think it has the mechanics in place so people can enjoy? Yeah, and, and I mean, that's the thing. Like, a game can be, like, satisfying in terms of challenge if the gameplay is rewarding enough, which it seems like that game would be. So, that's cool. It is definitely on my radar, Neto. Also, they add an easy and hard mode. Oh, cool. A few months before the game release. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, let me see what's over on this side before I do that again. So I want to see if there's anything important down here. Actually, this is probably because there was a... Oh, yeah, okay, that's Tiny Kong. I was going to say there was a tiny switch on the outside, so I need to get in here as tiny as well after. I'll take a break, a quick break in like 15 minutes or so. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I could... You don't know how many times that happens accidentally on the Wii U gamepad, man. This game was not built for this. All right. Jump, 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 jump. Oh man, he's gonna jump. All right, well, at least I'm out of first person mode. Take a break after this music. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We got it. Heck yeah. We're good, second try, not bad. All right, let me not waste any more crystal coconuts there. Banana. Oh. By the way, you're playing Resident Evil 3 Remake. Oh, interesting. That's new. All right. On the normal difficulty, and the game itself recommended me to lower the difficulty like three to what? That's wild. Oh, banana. Is that another game that people play bad or is that just the game is not well designed i've heard the sentiment that that's considered like the worst resident evil remake they've done which i don't know because a lot of the re remakes are supposed to be really good so that could just be that it's like you know it's it's solid but nothing amazing i don't know because i don't play resident evil but i will say i was tempted to pick up resident evil 4 remake when it came out last year i might get it at some point if it's on sale which i'm sure it will be at some point but that would be the Resident Evil game I try out, if anything. I think would be RE4 remake. Oh, you think you just suck at it, actually? Okay. No, no, I mean, no worries. Those games seem difficult. I'm just not a horror game fan. Yet I'm playing DK64 and Creepy Castle. But you're liking it so far. All right, that's good. That's good. Yeah, some people say it's just like the worst remake, which, I mean, they're all supposed to be really good. So I, I feel like that's not a fair assessment necessarily that like doesn't mean it's bad or anything right but 
I don't know. I mean, I know even the original three is not like a fan favorite. So that's probably part of it. Um, was there a character barrel somewhere over here? Pretty sure there was. I gotta switch to tiny dudes. But glad to hear you're liking it so far, at least. That's good. Yeah, there's a character barrel. Let me switch real quick. Switch to tiny, and we'll do that. <laughs> I still got a lot of this level left to do. This is a big level, but I, I, I mean, I like the theming so far. The levels have definitely been very hit or miss for me, you know? Like, Jungle Japes, I mean, no doubt is my favorite so far. <laughs> Being the first level. Um, I did actually like Frantic Factory a good amount. Crystal Caves was decent. Fungi Forest was a cool idea. I just, I don't know, I'm not a fan of the idea of having to go back to one place. That's a lot of backtracking, that level. I think RE3 remake was rushed. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, I feel like it wasn't long after 2 that it came out. Yeah. And that made some parts not very well designed. I see. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I really need Cranky. I got to get that switch upgrade. He's definitely going to have that for me. Oh. Cranky's the only, like, shop owner person who I haven't found yet in this level. Well, and I guess if you count Snide. But I know where Snide is. But Cranky, I need the upgrade for to do a lot of stuff. I can go back and do, um... I could go back and do the sniper thing. As, um... I need it for both Chunky and Donkey Kong, I want to say. Gloomy and ass sacrifice on stages. Oh, honestly, Luke? And I'm sorry if this upsets you. Gloomy Galleon was my least favorite stage so far. Like, legitimately, just wasn't a fan of how kind of slow that level was. I don't know. It took me a while to be. I wasn't a huge fan of Gloomy Galleon. Angry Aztec was decent. Nothing major until now. You can see some parts played on enemies. Gotcha. All right. Okay, who was that? Oh. No, bro, did they hide another balloon up in the corner of the ceiling? I hate when they do that. <laughs> I'm glad I saw that one, though. That's a Diddy balloon. All right. You like the, oh, and you like the original RE3. Okay, so you I'm guessing you like the original more so far? No problems. People hate the water temple and Legend of Ocarina Time and you. <laughs> oh, and you like it. Okay. See, honestly... I feel like it's been a while since I played the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, but I feel like I didn't mind that as much. But I could just be misremembering. It's been a, it's been a few years since I played Ocarina 3D, so I might just be misremembering. But yeah, there definitely is a lot of the water changing levels in Gloomy Galleon as well. It's the whole gimmick of it, right? Let's see the Master Quest version. Oh, really? Is that is that worse? Is the Master Quest version even more annoying? I've never played Master Quest, so I have no idea how it compares. I thought it was just all the levels, but in like reverse or mirrored or whatever. I, I don't know. So far, yes, we have to finish it. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fair. You got to finish it first. That is smart of you, Neto, because a lot of people won't finish it first. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, interesting. The, uh, the teleport pads. All right. Good to know. Oh. Oh, no, these are going to be... Oh, I see. These are going to be exclusive to this area. Okay. Right? Because, yeah. Master Quest is annoying. So is it not just the main game, but, like, mirrored? Because that's what I thought it was. Is there more to it? I've never played it, so I have no idea. Temples are complete... Oh. Really? They're completely remit. That I had no idea about. Wow, okay. That's a lot more different than I originally thought. Okay. That's cool, though. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a bit of a maze. I see. Okay. What a... Oh. I almost missed that switch. Not only remade, but they make no... <laughs> they make no sense. Weird. Okay. Hello? There we go. What is this? Oh, let me guess. You want me to chimpy charge into... Uh, into them in the proper order, I'm guessing? Or do I gotta shoot him? No, I'll do a little chimpy charge. 
Give me the chimp. Oh. To be fair, everything made no sense when you were young. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Wait, what? Oh, no. I thought I had to press them in order. No, it's a sequence of numbers. I don't know what I just did, but it opened the door. Okay. That was accidental. I think. Oh, unless it's like you hit four wrong numbers and then it opens that door. I can see that being it. If that was a sequence of numbers I needed to press, that was not intentional. <laughs> there you go, another example, yeah. Was there? Am I actually supposed to get a banana here though? I don't remember. I feel like there's probably supposed to be a banana. This probably opens up. I don't know what the sequence is though. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Right? Try four, three, two, one. I could, or I could look at a guy. Yay! Oh. No, it is one, two, three, four. I was right. I was right. Okay, okay. I was on the I was on the right track. I just because the buttons push back out, I assume they would have stayed pressed in if they were correct. Okay, I was right. I was right. But four through two one would have been a, a good second guess there. Was it not fast enough? Let's see. You'd agree if Mass Quest didn't have live cow. What? Hello? There we go. Live cow heads inside a giant. Oh, are you talking about Jabu Jabu? Banana. Wait. Why are you specifying heads? <laughs> like, are you telling me that they, like, cut off the heads of the cows at Lon Lon Ranch and just threw them in Jabu Jabu's belly? Is that what's going on? That's wild. Is it randomized? Is it, like, procedurally generated? Or is it, like, fixed in terms of how it's designed? Because if it's fixed, what kind of drugs are they on? <laughs> That's so weird. That's honestly kind of funny, but I could see how that would be a little aggravating. That's wild. That's kind of creepy. Imagine just cow heads. Like, ah, all right, I need DK for that. Is that a DK switch too? Yeah, all right. I don't know. There's probably not a character barrel in here, right? They probably want you to go switch outside of this little dungeon area. Let me just double check, but I don't think there was one. This is probably gonna be chunky over here. It's it's fixed. That's so weird. They probably just reuse assets, but but like that that's so weird. They didn't have the text randomize it yet. That's fair. But still, like that's so wild to me, cause like why would you put? I mean, maybe they just thought it was funny. Like why would you put cow heads <laughs> inside Jabu Jabu's belly? You played only once, never touched again. Nah, I mean, that's valid from what you're telling me, what you're describing. That's so funny. They were having fun. Can't blame them. All right. Let me switch to Donkey. Donkey! Ma okay, so Master Quest was only GameCube? Okay. Well, I'm trying to... Okay. Yes, because they had... Right, they had the disc release of the original and Master Quest on the... S were they separate discs or were they the same disc? But yeah, that does sound familiar. Um, Luke. All right. Yeah, we got to enter this as each one of these three. Ow! Hey, you couldn't let me just walk in? I was going to leave you alone, bro. It came as a bundle. Gotcha. If that wasn't the same as the, um... Damn it, I didn't get that warp. That, oh, well. That wasn't the same as the, um, collector's edition, right? They were separate releases, right? The one that was exclusive to Club Nintendo back in the day, right? Because that one I had for a little bit. That's how I originally played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Oh, that was weird. Pretty sure you play Mask Quest in 64 Oh, on N64 emulator. 
Well, I mean, if it's on an emulator, that doesn't necessarily mean it had the phys uh, official physical release in the N64, but I see what you're going for. Okay, this, I believe, is where I have to do the levers that Wrinkly mentioned. It was a collector's, maybe? I don't know. For sure. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, That'd be cool if it was on N64, but all right. Let me pull up my screenshot. I got it open. Bottom left, top right. Oh, did it cut off? Damn it, I think I might have cut off for me. Hold on. All right, what is bottom left? Is this bottom left or is this bottom left? Because depending on your perspective, you have it somewhere in your dungeon? Yeah, no worries. Let me try this as bottom left. Oh no, that shocked me. All right, that's not the right one. Is this bottom left? No. Then what's bottom left? Oh. There's a second set of levers, isn't there? Bro, okay. Well, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Bottom left, top right, top left in that order. Bottom left, top right, top left. To me, this is bottom left. Unless it always hurts me when I pull the lever. I figured that was feedback that I was doing it wrong, but let's see what happens. If I just have to sacrifice health here. Hey! Get out of here! At least I didn't take damage from that. Just didn't count my lever pull. <laughs> that was evil. And then let's try that, based on the diagram. Wait a minute. Are they calling this bottom left? All right, well, if that's bottom left, this is top right then, right? Oh, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, okay. I'm stupid. Wrinkly said in reverse order. So I wanna go top left, top right, bottom left. That's what I'm doing wrong. I forgot the reverse order part because of course I did. Because of course they had to make this more confusing. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Yeah, because Wrinkly told me the order was bottom left, top right, top left, but then she said in reverse order. That's the difference. Yeah, I was sorry. I was basing it off the screenshot I had from Wrinkly. There we go. Oh no, is this a minecart? Those look like minecart tracks to me. We've gotten to the minecart race. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a really bad Squawks impression. Collect 25 coins. Slow down and jump with Rana. Press A to jump straight up. Watch out for the gravestones and the resident demon. That's supposed to be a Resident Evil reference? Where's the ghost train? Oh god, this is gonna be terrifying. Oh man, oh no! Oh, that's the resident demon! Oh no! It's like in it's like in um It's literally like in DKC. I hate this dude. Yes, I remember this guy in Dog Dog Country. Oh my god. Okay, this one's actually kind of fun, though. Like, low-key kind of fun here. Oh, I see. If you switch at the right time. This is kind of scary. Oh, man. Oh, what? Hello? What is that? Whoa! This is very different. Okay, this one's actually kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's awesome. Aw, oh, hit me that time. At least I'm not, like, timed. That's good. 
Whoa, crap. Aw, oh, man. That one I did not time right. I'm, just, I'm literally just taking my time with this. Oh, barely did not see that. Crap. Oh, okay. That was a tough one of time. I only need 25 tokens, so... Actually, not looking too bad right now. Oh. Oh. Okay. They're trying to throw me for a loop there. Is that it? No, that's not going to be it. Redo, you miss some? No. I'm not going for 100% tokens. See, Squawk said I only needed 25. Definitely not going after all of them. Might as well the Twilight Princess boss fight. Oh, the Twilight Stafford. I can see that. I can see that. A little bit. A little bit. I am taking my sweet time with this. Make sure I get enough to... Whoa! Okay. That one, you gotta, like, jump over the right time. That's... Aww. Count, count that as me hitting him. Oh. Alright, there we go. I'm slowing down before these doors just in case, because I'm worried that... Oh, man. Whoa! Okay, okay. Oh, crap. All right. See, this part's kind of cool. I like this part. This part's kind of fun. Where it does the reverse shot, and you got to avoid the, uh, the flaming skulls. Like, that's pretty fun. Ooh, too late again. What? Aw, oh, man. I keep hitting that one too late. Oh my god, this is a long one, too. I mean, it's because I'm going so slow, but, like, I'm just, I'm taking my time. There we go. There we go. The little spooky Donkey Kong's like, bro, hurry up. Get me out of this. Is that it? Nope. Still going. Oh, this is a long one. Sorry, chat. I'll catch up with you in a second. There it is. Grab this banana. I want out of this spooky hole. Very nice. You can slow down. Imagine a speed run. Zero hit. No way. Well, you do say that I did manage to do that with uh, the original Donkey Kong Country on, um... I forget what that first minecart level was called, but I did manage to do it there. All right, let me come back in here with Chunky, get his banana, and then I'm going to take a quick break. But yeah, that was, honestly, that was probably my favorite minecart section in this game so far. I haven't been a huge fan of some of the minecart sections, but that one was fun. That one was kind of just clever. I don't know. I like that one. And the fact that it wasn't timed is good. Because uh, I forget what world it was, but the one where you're being chased by, like, the bomb cart or whatever. That one, you're, assen uh, you're essentially timed. That one was tricky. All right, Chunky. Let's get you in there. But yeah, that was a fun one. All right. Is this supposed to be like a mammoth skull? Like, what's going on here? At least it's not a monkey skull. That'd be very scary. I do appreciate that we can, the, all the Kongs can hold so much ammo now. Oh, another one of these. Can I break it? I can. Immediate right there. There it is. There it is. Welcome, Welcome to, bonus, to stage. bonus stage. I literally just did this one. <laughs> it's getting to the point with these mini games specifically where they're getting extremely repetitive. Like, I've already done this. I literally just did this one. Was it Lanky or Diddy in the same level? Who was it? It's like, it's getting super repetitive. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're fun the first few times, but 
How many times have I done this one? Like, at least four? Well, still not as bad as the one where you have to hit the Kong, or not hit the Kongs, and only hit the banana. Like, that one is absolutely rough. This one could be a little tricky, though. Just trying to place the watermelons correctly could be really tricky. There we go. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one. Oh, it's not out of the question. It's not out of the question. Oh man, you went up. No, you went up. Well that was close. Way. They start to repeat and get harder. Oh yeah, they're definitely getting harder. It's okay. just, I don't know. It's getting a little too repetitive for my taste, I guess. They up the difficulty slowly, teach you to make you better. True. But it's still the same thing every time. I don't know. I, I feel like it'd be... I feel like to make it harder if they introduced, like, new, like, mechanics to it, I feel like that'd be more interesting. It's just, I, I'm just, I'm kind of over all these minigames, to be honest. At least the cart, the minecart ones are very different. Those ones are much different each time you do it, but the minigames, not so much. I will take some banana. There we go. Banana coin is chunky, my guy. Um, I'm guessing there's nothing up here. Probably not. Any chunky ba uh, balloons I should be aware of? No. All right. 2024 mindset, this is 2000 mindset. Listen, yeah, <laughs> listen, Luke. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I've always said this, but like, like, of course, this game is made with the limitations of the time in mind, but we can say a game has not aged well. You know, that, like, that's a valid criticism. So, in terms of the repetitive mini games, this game is not aged well. In terms of the camera and controls, this game is not aged well. For the time, I don't know because I wasn't playing this game, I wasn't alive at that time, but I can speak to now at least. And it is not aged the best. All right. This is probably a good time to take a quick break. Um, now that I've done with all that, how am I looking on progress so far? Not great. Well, I, I have a few of the blueprints. I only have. One golden banana. I have a lot of the colored bananas, but I'm missing a lot of the golden bananas, so. But we're getting there. I haven't done the challenge, and I'm still... Okay, I, I got one of the banana fairies, right. All right. In terms of Donkey Kongs, this game did not age well. Fair. Fair. I mean, a lot of games during this era did not age well, to be fair. Just nature of that era. Same thing with PS1 games, but... All right, with that, I'm going to take a few minutes break. I'll be back in a few more minutes with more DK64, so feel free to, to chill or do whatever you got to do, and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Uh, uh. Oh, and yes, Luke, to answer your question before I head out. Um, yeah, I only stream on YouTube. I don't do dual streaming with Twitch. Not in the plans as of now. I just, I prefer YouTube streaming, but totally understandable if you prefer Twitch. But just wanted to clarify that before I take a break. All right, be back in a few.
Team, my boy Chunky here. All right, we're back, everybody. If you couldn't tell, what's up? How's everyone doing? Don't worry, Donkey's here with me. He just gets uncomfortable when I uh, chills in my shirt. <laughs> Don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> all right. So yes, we have one golden banana as all the Kongs. However, I do have a lot of the color bananas, so that's good. Um, one banana fairy. And I got the I got the banana coin as chunky, so that's good. So we're getting somewhere. Not at all intending to finish this level, this stream. Oh look at the butterflies love him. All right, let me think of where I can explore now. Because okay, I originally came in that way. I've done supposedly everything over there. That I did, right, as both, oh, no, okay, I need to find Cranky still. 
I still need to fight Cranky. This was funky, which I did do. Cranky's somewhere in this level. I've not found him yet. I need to get to Cranky to find the um, the upgrade to be able to press the red switches, because that I do not have right now. So that's got to be somewhere. Well, hi, what's up, bro? Oh, lanky coins are. So let's check around. At this rate, Shadow's going to be finished before DK. Like, I don't know, Neto. That's the thing, like... I honestly don't think so. Like, well, I think I might finish him around the same time, which is what I'm trying to figure out, right? Because, all right, so I'll just straight up confirm here. Whichever one I finish first, I'm going to start Minish Cap right after. That's like the next game I'm streaming is Minish Cap. So whichever one finishes first, I'll stream Minish Cap next. Then from there, I'm trying to figure out, because like I said earlier in the stream, I do want to stream Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remix. I've never played that game before, and I think that would be kind of like Mario RPG at the end of last year. I feel like that'd be a fun one to stream. I've never done that one before, so I feel like that could be a fun one. Um, but what, I, what I'm trying to figure out in my head is like, okay, when am I going to finish both these games? Because that comes out end of May, I believe, Paper Mario does. So I'm like, okay, like, do I want to start another game and then start Paper Mario on top of that? Because if that happens, then I'm going to end up doing what I did for, what, almost a month? Where I was playing both Prince of Persia and this game and Splatoon 3 Side Order at the same time. And not doing any other, like, weekend live streams, you know? Which I could do, but... Yeah, I just, I gotta figure out what I want to do there. Um, I feel like I remember seeing some Donkey Kong bananas over here. Oh, I gotta go back uh, to the beginning of the level, actually. Now that I'm remembering, let me uh, let me do that real quick. Finish cap is pretty short. Well, yeah, but it can't be like super short, right? What were we saying, like 20 hours? Right, like even that's gonna take me several streams to do. Oops, that is a cliff. Actually, you know what? This might this might make things easier. Yeah, because I'm going to go back to the beginning of the level. All right, that'll actually help. <laughs> Thank you for dying, Chunky. You took one for the team. Um, so I can remember where the beginning of the level was. But yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see based on timing. I just, I would have to figure out what game I would want to stream next. If I were to stream another one after Minish Cap, after starting Minish Cap, and before starting Paper Mario. Which, I mean, I have a list of games I could stream. Maybe that's when I stream Classic Mega Man. Mm, I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to see. Okay, so let's see if Sniper Mode works. Oh yeah, they shoot so much farther. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we'll see, but yeah. Regardless, Minish Cap will definitely be the next game that I start streaming. Because I'm going to finish either this game or Shadow the Hedgehog before Paper Mario Remake comes out. Look at the way you play games, save five to six streams. Really? Okay, okay. Press A to jump, press B to scare them. All right. Oh, this one. This one's kind of funny. Although it's kind of annoying. Hey, get in the, get in the hole. Are you too good for your home? Right, I this it's been a while since I've done this one. I was happy about that though because I don't like this one because it's really hard and it's really easy to fall in the hole itself. Get in the hole! Come on, go in. There you go. Go in, Beaver. Go. No. All right. This reminds me. No one's gonna get this reference, but this reminds me of a mini game. If anybody's ever played Shrek Super Party, um, there's a mini game in that game where you have to direct the. Well, you actually, you swing the rats around, and you have to throw them into the sewer in the middle. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it. This is going to be tricky. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't like this one. Although, I am kind of close. I got close. But not quite. Maybe less. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I guess it's not super long. All right. Yeah. I, I can't judge right now based on the metrics. I can only go based off general stuff, but 
good to know that, see, that's why Minish Cap's appealing to me to stream because I want to stream another Zelda game, but they're so long, right? The fact that it's that short is very appealing. So I'm looking forward to it. Welcome to the bonus stage. Oh, you don't say. Fifth, I hope this is the final occurrence of this minigame, because if not, I'm gonna be mad. Hey, here's an idea. Don't! See, that's what I'm talking about. It's really easy to fall in the hole. Really easy. Welcome to bonus stage. Okay, there we go. There we go. Never mind. Never mind. I'm getting. I'm getting. Oh, oh, okay. that was such a good shriek. <sighs> Welcome to bonus stage. Uh, man. All right. I do like that the clap trap sounds like a dog. There's just something about that that's very funny to me, and I like it. Go. Are you too good for your home, bro? You were. Okay, I don't know what happened there. You literally should go in. What is happening? What was that? I don't want to spoil, but you're dividing the game in parts in your head. So be fun to the okay, okay. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, definitely don't spoil. Um, but I'm not going to evenly distribute it necessarily in a game like Zelda. I'm just that was good. I'm just going to like see where there's a good stopping point over the course of three hours. You know? I used to divvy it up more, where it was like, oh, I'll do one chunk of the game as the game divides it, but I realized that took way too long, and there were some streams that went on for like five hours, aka Yoshi's uh, Woolly World, and after that I said, no more that, I am being strict with the three hour time limit. The only difference is when it's like the final stream of a game, and it's like, alright, well if I literally have like 20 minutes to half an hour left, I'll finish it up. Get in the f***ing hole! Bro! Oh my god. That's why I think maybe it takes less streams. We'll see. We shall see. Oh yeah, I see your reasoning for that. But good to know, no, no. Good to know it's a shorter game. That's that's appealing to me. Some people would be turned off by that. I, that's very appealing to me. Who knows, maybe I could stream Link's crossbow training? That'd be another good one to stream. Oh my god. It's like, even though I had that really good combo of beavers at the very beginning, it clearly wasn't enough. Alright, there we go. How did you know? There we go. There we go. No, go in there. There you go. Alright, alright, alright. No. Yeah. It's like, for some reason, it doesn't like it when they go in the hole, like, direct. Get in your fucking hole! That's it, I'm following you in, because I'm gonna lose anyways. <laughs> See, like, for some reason, it doesn't like when you try to directly. Because I'm pressing B to scare them, it calls it. To direct them right into the hole. It doesn't like when, when I try to do that. It's like you have to, like, slowly nudge them in. I hate that it does that. Like, let me herd these beavers the way I want, game. Come on. Oh, my God. And I've already lost. Yep. And I've already taken way too much time on that one beaver. Oh, ah, get in your f***ing hole! Yeah. Oh my god! No, you are too... Get closer to the hole, please! Get in the hole! You're right there! Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. 
Get in. Get in. Get in the... God. I can't excuse this game. To be fair, when you're playing Street Fighter 6 in your head, how much progress can make you one stream? You like 30% of it in the stream. Right, exactly. It, it really depends. Especially a game like that, because there's a lot of side content, too. Which, I mean, based on what you were saying, Neto, right? There's some side quests in Minish Cap, which I'm probably going to want to check out, so... Who's to say? I hate beavers. So much. Not in real life, don't worry, just in this game. You're literally, like, on the rim of the hole. Just go in. Just do me a favor and jump. Welcome to bonus stage. If I hear welcome to bonus stage one more time... This gamepad is actually going to be broken. Do you see that animation, though, when they're, like, sitting on the edge and, like, they should go in, but they stop, they stop dead in their tracks for some reason? What, what prompts that? What, what's up with that? Like, I genuinely don't know. Oh my god, yeah, I'm wasting too much... Yep, yeah, okay, well, that's the, that's the run again. I'm wasting too much time on the one specific beaver. Just go in your fucking hole! That's all you have to do! I hate Rare. I'm glad Rare doesn't make good games anymore. I'm kidding! I'm kidding, I hear good things about Sea of Thieves. Fact that it's coming to PlayStation. The fact that it's coming to PlayStation, I'm, ha I'm happy for people who get to try that game out. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. It's like if I don't play perfectly, I lose, so I gotta keep restarting to get, get a chance to win. I almost had it that one time. Just, can, can you just go in the hole, please? Welcome to bonus stage. Who, who designed this? I wanna know. Let me know. I wanna know the very specific person or group of people who designed this. I wanna send them a thank you letter. You know, the sad part is there will actually be people who will do that. Unfortunately, that is the state of the industry, and it sucks. And I don't, I'm, I don't mean actual thank you letters. Like, you hear stories about, like, people sending, like, freaking, like, death threats to, like, developers because they don't like a, the way they made it. I'm like, bro, it's a fucking video game. Like, can we calm down? <laughs> You know. Now, granted, I joke about it on stream, but obviously, like, I don't know. It, it takes another kind of person to actually do something like that. Like, I don't get it, man. All right, that was a close run, too, actually. Not quite. That one was about to go in! That was about to go in! Oh, one more second, I would have won. You're going to say the... You're going to say to them, keep yourself safe. You're gonna say to them, I don't know what you mean by you're gonna say to them, keep yourself safe. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're gonna do that. No, it is serious shit, 100%. That's what I'm saying. It's like the fact that it, the fact that that's the state we're in, that sucks. You know, but there are people out there who take video games way too seriously and they do shit like that and it's disgusting and we shouldn't be doing that. All right, oh, come on. Oh, come on, Demon. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're gonna be here the rest of the stream. Here we go. Welcome to bonus stage. 
This is gonna need an explanation. Okay. Explanation like, you're gonna explain it, you're saying? I gotta stop restarting and just like try a run and see what happens, but it's the way I don't know what you call it, like the scare button, I guess. Works is a little finicky and it's making it really tricky to do this right. Yeah, like I I've already lost like I literally have already lost. Like I can't recover. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, the beaver noises are gonna play in the back of my head as nightmares for like the next week. And the music too, the music doesn't help at all. It's always the why is it always the carnival music that uh scares me? Wow. I don't know why I didn't go in that time. There you go. Talks people in online games started saying. Oh no, I've seen. Yes, no, I've seen stuff like that. Yes, I've seen stuff like that. Yeah, that's fucked up. 100. percent Yeah, 100. percent Yeah, that's. Talks like I I don't understand how you have the mentality because you're like. You're saying it directly to people like. What? That's wild. And they used to appeal. They used to appeal to ban stuff by saying that. Oh, what the hell? No, of course that's not what it stood for. Yeah. Oh my god. And so they seriously like. Well, the moderators believed that, or was it like automatic mods? Like was it like bots who were modding? these games, because, like, that is... Like, of course it doesn't stand for that. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's, like... I don't know. I guess it's a larger discussion of, like, the fact that there is just, like, a weird, like, toxic gamer culture lingo, right? That's, like... It shouldn't be accepted as, like... You're literally, especially when you're on, like, a voice chat, you're literally talking with people online. Like, I think so many, like, people who play online games forget that. And as a result, you end up in situations like that where it's just, it's dumb. It's just, I, I don't know. We should have that discussion way back. I, f I feel like I've seen screenshots of, like, Xbox Live and stuff like that that have said that. That's, that's wild. Welcome to bonus stage. It's just, it's fucking, it's, I don't know, that's weird. It's like the same, I mean, I'll, depending on how you view it, not necessarily the same severity. It's not a death threat, but like, it's the same idea of like, how like, decades ago, right? I mean, times change. Decades ago, it was funny to call people gay, right? Like, that was just almost like a, it was a derogatory term. And I'm sure people all the time still do that now, to be honest. Or like the R word, you know, stuff like that. It's like, and I feel like it was, I don't want to say accepted, but I feel like it was more prevalent in like online gaming because just the online nature of it. I don't know if there's some amount of, I don't know how to pronounce this word, anonymity to it, where it's like, oh, it's just my online persona. No one's going to know who I am. I can say whatever the hell I want. It's like, that's fucking wild. I, I don't understand people online sometimes. You know what I mean? It's absolutely crazy. Like, just the kind of stuff that spews out of people's mouths. Even online, it's like, sure, you can have an online persona, but that doesn't make you an absolute bigot for saying stuff like that, you know? Like, that's, I don't, that's wild. I, I, I don't know how you have the mindset to, to say shit like that. I want to say it's gotten better, but I, I don't know because I don't play a lot of online games. I would like to think it's gotten better in today's day and age, but I really, I don't know. How did I not fall down? That was kind of scary. Oh my god, man. There we go. All right, Beaver. Let's 
doing so good for a while, too, and then I think I lost it. I'm wrong, but isn't the word gay also a way to disguise what people were talking about? Disguise what people were talking about? That I don't know. Great game. You saw that. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, I'm so tired. I don't know about disguising what people were talking about. I don't know about that. All I know is that, at least from what I've seen, and I'll admit, like, I knew some people in high school who used to say that, right? It was just, it was more acceptable back then, especially in, like, that kind of age group. I don't know. Not that I'm saying it was, it should be acceptable. It shouldn't be at all, but it was at the time. Um, it was just, and at least in terms of from what I've seen and experienced, it was more just derogatory. It's just like, huh? Like, you're stupid, or you're bad, or you're gay. Like, it was just, like, interchangeable, which really, like, by definition doesn't even make any sense anyways. You know? You had some other people who started saying gay because they used other offensive words before? Oh, really? Oh, I see. See, that I don't know. That I'm not familiar with. No, I really, I don't, I don't know myself on that head. Nice. <laughs> Like I said, I don't, uh, I'm not super involved in online culture, so I don't know for sure. Welcome to I mean, either way, you're just substituting one offensive word for another. Well, it's offensive in that, that, uh, use case, I should say. Like, obviously, that was meant to be derogatory. But yeah, I don't even remember how we got on this topic, but... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. I bet you it's not any better. Like, I would be curious what, like, kids are saying in, like, Roblox servers these days. I bet you there's some messed up shit that people say. Yeah, I already screwed this one up. That was weird. It's before online culture. Oh, before online culture. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Then I, yeah, I, I really don't know then. I, don't know. I will say, speaking of online culture, if you will, I remember <laughs> one of my, uh, one of my college buddies has a MetaQuest. I think it's a MetaQuest 2. Ah, oh, it's a bad one. I want to say. I think it's a MetaQuest 2. And I remember when he got it, it was like my senior year of college. And he was like, you gotta play something. I'm like, okay. We played like Beat Saber, which was actually really fun. Um, that'd be the only reason why I'd be interested in getting a VR headset at this point. Um, also played Vader Immortal. That was pretty fun. The, the Darth Vader VR game. That was kind of cool. Um, Alright, can you not be stuck on the wall? Because if you're stuck on the wall, I literally can't chase you down. And it's a little cheap. So there was that. Um, and then there were some other like demo games I think that came with the Oculus. But also, he was like, you want to try VR chat? And I was like, oh, sure, I'll try VR chat. And I remember because we were switching around a bunch of avatars. Um, my friend like playing as Kermit the Frog. I, I was Mr. Krabs. And I forget what, there was some like map we were on or whatever. And we were sitting on like some rooftop lounge. And I was just chilling as Mr. Krabs. And some like, must have been like, so okay, the, I was trying to do a Mr. Krabs impression the entire time while I was in character, of course. Um, and I was trying to, I was just sitting there and some kid, it was probably like a 13 year old kid who his avatar, I could tell it was a, I could tell it was a dude, was like some anime girl, like some like 10 year old anime girl. And he comes up to me and says, hey, Mr. Krabs, can I give you a blowjob? 
and I said, oh, Mr. Krabs, it's a gold leaf sun. <laughs> and then I bolted out of there. <laughs> that was like the only time. I can't go back to VR chat after that incident. That was, oh, that was wild. The new season of Clone High makes a joke on exactly that topic, but how times change. Oh, wait. Oh, Clone High. I feel like I've heard of, but I've not watched it. What is it about now? Oh, uh, but yeah, that was my, that was the peak of my VR chat experience from like that one time I played. Uh, ever since I told my friend like, hey, you still got that uh, Quest 2? We could play some VR chat. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, what a time. I wish I had more of an excuse to get VR because it seems kind of cool, but also very limited in this day and age, so. Apple, listen, make the Apple Vision Pro like 500 and I will consider. I will actually consider at that point. All right. Just for you, Steve Jobs, I will consider it. Oh, man, I could have recovered from that, too. Again! I like the growl. I can't do this. We can't keep doing this, Bob. I just, this is absurd. It's about a secret experiment that clones important people. Oh, also, I am so sorry. No, I just, I just freaking realized. Give me a second. You probably wouldn't be able to notice it, but there's the audio duplication. Okay, there we go. It's about, oh, hold on. Let me turn the other one on. There we go. Secret experiment that clones important people in story and put them in. Oh, so okay. So Abe Lincoln, JFK, Cleopatra, interesting. That's kind of a cool idea. All right, is it like a cartoon? Or is it like live action? Hey, Beaver, Beaver, your AI's not working. In the hole. Do it! Ah, no! Ah! Go in, come on! Go in, go in, go in! I messed up. All right, nope, that was it. I would have gotten it right there. Well, not guaranteed, but I would have had a chance. All right. It's a dumb cartoon, but it's pretty funny. Cool, okay, okay. What is it on? Um, I keep getting one left. I hate this. I hate this. Not only is this repetitive, it's actively horribly designed. This might be one of the worst mini games out of them all, to be honest. It doesn't make any sense to me how it just like doesn't work half the time. There you go. It's like there's so many times where it looks like I should get the beaver in the hole and I don't. And I don't understand fully how it's supposed to work. It seems like when I try to get him on the side, it works better. But then again, I don't know. It has inconsistent results sometimes. It's like right there. What was that? Beaver. It's like if they approach head on, it doesn't fully work. I mean, it's just... Oh, it's on HBO Max? Cool. Very cool, Neto. This is going to be the rest of the stream, I think. Like, legitimately, like, I would not be surprised if this takes me another half hour. Get away from the wall. Get away from the wall. Get away from the wall and go in the hole. That's all you got to do. Get away from the wall where I can get ya. Get away from the wall, thank you. Once again, 
again. Don't stand in front of the hole like that, please. I don't understand you. I don't understand how this works. I'm gonna bash my head in the wall. Good luck, bro. You're watching on your phone, lay down in your bed to so probably sleep. No, no, no worries, Neto. No worries, I'm gonna end in like an hour anyways. Even that, but... Appreciate you being here, Neto. Hope you get some good rest. I need some rest. Stop going towards the edge of the wall, please. I'm trying so hard not to lose my core right now. I appreciate you that you're still here cheering at I this shouldn't be this difficult. I don't I don't know. I feel like I'm just fighting the game for most of this. Oh, I, I absolutely love when they cling to the wall, which they tend to do. Get away from the wall! Please. Yeah, go in your hole. Where you belong. Down the garbage chute where you belong, beavers. Stuck on them so much. People say Dark Souls is a challenge. <sighs> See, this is the kind of challenge where. Listen, I, don't even, I, I can't even call this a skill issue. Like, I just genuinely. The. I don't know. I don't even know. It's, I mean, I, this is genuinely a design issue, just of, it, it, like, in theory, this is a minigame that shouldn't be that hard, but it's, it's the controls, it's the, I don't know, or the, it might be, because I bet you what's happening is there's, like, a hitbox, when I press B, the scare button, but there's an invisible hitbox that's generated, and when the beaver comes into contact with that, that's why it turns in a certain direction based on that hitbox. It's something with that. I mean, I've had issues with the hitboxes in this game as it is, so it's probably a hitbox issue. It's just genuinely, like, making this game way harder than it needs to be. I really hope there's no, many, no more Beaver minigames after this one, because if that, I, I'm going to be pissed if there's another one in the, whatever the 8th level ends up being. 
That is not going to be pretty. Why did you not go in the hole? Okay. Hi. Hi. Seems fair. Seems good. It's like I could give up and move on, but I'm gonna forget about this. I don't even know where I am anymore. Because I've been playing this minigame for way too damn long. I don't remember where in the level this is. If I give up now and try to do the next stream, I'm gonna completely forget where the hell it is. How did you avoid that hole? Welcome to bonus stage. You want to say that, but like give up? No, no, I'm not gonna give up. Not just yet. Well, it's not that it's not an option. I could, but no, I'm going to keep going. I survived the rabbit race. I'll keep doing it. Legitimately, if it's like, let's say I don't beat this this stream, which is possible. If I try it next stream and I still don't beat it, then that's another story. Then it's like, all right, it depends on how many like overall attempts I really do. But no, I, the fact that I got really close before to me means this is 100% doable. And it's just, I need to fight with the game enough to actually get it to, to work. Yeah, it's a bad run. It's a bad run. Welcome to bonus stage. It's not necessarily not an option, but like at this point, it's, uh, I don't know. I see it as a, a decent challenge to actually like, you know, because this game is, it's designed not well, but it's designed to be 100% completed. So... I might as well give it a good attempt. Welcome to bonus stage. I mean, I was literally going to stream the game for another 20 minutes. So I'll, I'm giving myself another 20 minutes to beat this. If I don't beat it tonight, then I'll try it again next stream. your problem. I am spamming B at the edge and you're not falling in. I don't understand. I, I don't know what it is about that. There's, I don't know what it is. It's either a glitch or a stupid design decision or something. There we go, that one. I said, oh no, if you try to hit it directly on into the hole, that'd be too easy. That'd be too easy. Alright, just send me down the hole, I don't care, I gotta restart the run. Or both. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if they would intentionally design something to have a bug. I guess at that point they could call it a, what's the, what's the saying? It's not a bug, it's a feature. But this is, this is atrocious, this is not a feature. If, it, if, this was, if this was a feature in their eyes, in Rare's eyes, they were on too many drugs.
comes a bonus stage. I thought that one went in. Okay, there it goes. What the hell? I literally thought I'd pushed one in, so I moved on. And then I saw to the corner of my eye, it was just sitting on the edge of the hole. Oh my God, dude, there's absolutely no way. That's actually kind of funny, but at the same time, it pisses me off so much. Chunky grabbed that fucking thing. Oh my god. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where even am I? I literally don't remember this. Oh! This was the sniper place for Chunky, right? Oh my god. <sighs> the nightmare's over. I'm, I'm exhausted now. All right, where was that DK spot? Wasn't there a DK sniper spot or was there not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there was, there was, there was. Okay. I need to... Let me grab this real quick. because I'm a weird completionist and it didn't work. Yay! All right. I need to grab DK. Because now that I have the sniper shot, nice. Now that I have the sniper shot, I should be good to go back to that moving target that was at the bottom of that well and take care of that. I should be good to do that. Switch over real quick. Yeah, I'm literally going to stop streaming this game in like 10 minutes anyways. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed half this, well, I'll say a third of the stream being uh, the, whatever it's called, the beaver butthole game, whatever that's called. I know it's not what it's called, but I can't think of any other name right now. My brain is fried after that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was through here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I had to go down the pit there. It was down here. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Good. Appreciate that. Thank you, Chris Platt. I know your name now, so I know where you live. Beaver butthole. It was beaver something was that starts with a B. Beaver bark? Beaver... It was something like that. I don't remember, man. I don't... I don't care enough to remember. This game doesn't deserve me to remember its name. Oh, banana. All right, so yeah, now I can actually snipe this thing. There we go. Yes, okay, it's gonna raise the water level, gotcha. All right. <laughs> like, I was just standing there with this coconut gun out, just ready to shoot. Uh, it's funny. Alright, where are you? Alright. Wow, oh, I barely missed that. There we go. Luckily, I've got plenty of ammo. Hmm. That was it. Alright. I wonder. Yeah. yeah. I also wonder. <laughs> I love how excited he is when he says that. I also wonder if, um, like raising that water level. I wonder if that affected anywhere else in the level. I don't think it would have, but I'm curious to see if anything else was affected. 
You know what I'll do before I end the stream? I want to climb to the top of this area. I haven't done that yet. I want to climb to the very top and see what's up there. Like, I think it was across the bridge. Gotta wait for it to... Crazy in there. Right, if I go up here... Yeah, there's some DK bananas. I do want to see what's up there. Oh, there's some Diddy, uh, Diddy balloon, all right. At least that way I don't have to end the stream on the stupid beater minigame. Oh, nice, there's Lanky's blueprint. How you doing, bro? Mm. Watch out, donkey! Alright. Boss gate. Very good, very good. Oh, cool. That's a teleporter. Alright. Mmm. Alright. So let me switch to Lanky so I can get Lanky's blueprint real quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Chunky. Not this time, bro. I wish... I do like this version of the song with the, the snapping. I like that. All right, let me get Lanky's blueprint. Whoa, that was close. How you doing? Mm. 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 I'll take that. Thank you. Um... There was a Diddy balloon earlier I saw for the, uh, for some bananas. And there's a jetpack right there, which I don't know what I can use that jetpack for, but I'll figure it out. Can I go? Actually, wait, hold up. Oh no, why did I do? Fuck. Oh, climb back up, climb back up. I thought that was a separate door. Nope, that's, I've been there before. All right, let's go the other way, Langy. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, come on, come on, there we go. That was close. Good song, but it's not One Winged Kong. It is no One Winged Kong. Uh, thankfully, I did not get copyright claimed on One Winged Kong. However, there was another song I got copyright claimed on. And I'm trying to figure out if it was something in the presentation or if it was the Vampire Survivor soundtrack. Because I think it might have been Vampire Survivors. But it, it, see, the thing is, is it wasn't claimed by Ponkle. It was YouTube's copyright system her music is just really bad where like you'll have copyright claims under random names and it just actively doesn't make sense no oh, i got too greedy okay there's a ladder right here that makes it easier so i don't know and you know, i was thinking i got i gotta stream vampire survivors again at some point you know all right here's an idea let's not do that they got the contra uh, DLC coming out at some point. I forget when they said the release date was, but maybe that'd be a good time. I don't know. Ow. All right, where was that balloon? Oh, I think it was over here. Yes, there is. There you are. Your Hydra Operation Gun? It looks fun, like the fact that they're adding gun-like characters. I mean, that's like such a cool idea, you know? It does look like it should be interesting. Honestly, maybe I could go past 9.30 tonight because I spend so much time in that stupid minigame. It releases, oh, okay, it releases in May. That's good to know. Thank you, Neto, for the heads up there. Um, nope. Good, thank you. What a good game, all right. Just fucking kill me now. <laughs> Off the ledge I go. <sighs> Love the shockwaves that enemy creates. Yeah, I'll look for it in May, I'll look for it in May. It's good to know that it's on its way. Okay, you know what, now let me do the warp pad. Now that I got the balloon, there we go. 
So what? Yeah. What? What does it want me to use Diddy's jetpack for? Like obviously it's a lot easier to fly up, but is there something up here? Oh, maybe these clouds? Are these just like platforms? Oh, those are platforms. Ah, that's what it wants me to do. Welcome to bonus day. Hmm. I was about to say if it was the beaver one again, I was about to. I was gonna literally end stream right there. Okay, this one's still kind of annoying, I will say. Especially because they like to taunt you. Oh my god. Die! Where are you going? Bro! Actually, somehow almost got that. They kept flying right into the slaughter. They keep adding more characters than Empire Survivors will play forever. See, but would you want them to make a new game? Welcome to bonus stage. Or would you rather them just keep adding more characters? I guess, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a cool idea to keep the longevity of the game going because the characters play so differently. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay, come on down. Now you don't mind just having birth. Gotcha. 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 I mean, the game's not super old, so yeah, I see. It is addicting enough, too. I hate the laugh it makes. It's so annoying, babe. If I was a fly, where would I be? <laughs> I'm not actually gonna play that way. You ever doubt they'll be able to do this jackpot again? To hit the jackpot? Oh, so you don't think they could do it? Yeah, with a new one. That's, that's a fair assessment, too. Yeah, to like reach the level of popularity, that's fair. No, because it was, it was such a big deal at the time when it came out, so it's sort of thing. I can't do this. I can't sit here and play another mini game again for an hour. I can't do it. I, I, I genuinely can't. I might have to save this one for next stream. And give it a good few tries. You know what's one of the most satisfying things ever? If any of you have ever used those electric fly swatters, oh man, those are so satisfying. It's like a buggy night out, you're sitting around like a campfire or something. You get one of those things, you just go to town. One of the most satisfying things in the world. Flies suck. I hate them. I hate them. These fly swatters also suck. But the electric ones are fun. You just watch them literally die in front of you. Like, especially when you have like a huge like batch of them. When it's super buggy out, it's like it's so satisfying. Here's an idea.
I figured out the AI on that one. <laughs> That one, I can figure out the AI patterns and just break it. So that worked out well. If there was a pattern to the, the beaver one, I had no idea what it was. Where are we going, Diddy? Oh, ow. Let me head back down to where I was before. That way I can kind of keep track of where I'm going. Was it here? Need some tiny bananas? All right. The hitbox is pretty clunky for sure. But that one, I could definitely predict it more than the beaver one. I got into a groove where I was just like, all right, if I press it down and then swat, I'll land it 90% of the time. And it worked. All right, I'm pretty sure, actually. Oh, wow. There's still a lot to this level. Yeah, there is a lot. I don't know how far I'm going to get. It's 9.30 now, Eastern now. I still gotta find Cranky too. Oh my goodness. There is a lot to this map I still haven't explored yet. Oh my man. Wow, there's a museum. There's a, yeah, there's a whole. whole side to this level I've not done yet. I didn't expect there to be this much more. Oh, there's Cranky. You know, let me, let me check out Cranky long. Pretty sure you missed a hit, but the game counted anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, one of those. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about too. Back again, Diddy. How about another go? No, we're not playing Jetpack. I wish he said that after you got the upgrade. This is the one where you just, I'm guessing for all Kongs, you make it so you press the switch harder. Yeah, super bigger butter Sebastian. Took your time getting this one, didn't you, Diddy? Uh. Okay, thanks, bro. Bye. Yeah, no, he counted it. That was really funny. The delay was weird on that one. Oh, thanks. All right. It's a bunch of Tiny Kong bananas up this way. However, so now that I've done that, I might save the rest of this level for the next stream, but now that I've done that part, I'm trying to remember where... There were a couple red switches I encountered already. There was at least a Tiny Kong one. I gotta remember how I get back there, though. But there was the Tiny Kong one, at the very least. I remember the general location, but not specifically where it is. I gotta go. I'm gonna go hunt that down again. And then probably end stream after, shortly after that. Oh, okay. Sure, Tiny. Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not there. Was it here? Oh, there are some switches here. All right, let me let me take care of this while I'm here. There are a few switches here now that I remember this area. Yeah. Now we can actually press them. Very nice. Oh, hey, how you doing? So I got a match again. Match the tiles. That looks correct. Oh. I'll make Chunky's face. I like Chunky. There we go. Oh, that's not the right one, then. There we go. Ah, that looks like Chunky to me, I don't know. Is that not Chunky? Unless, I mean, they probably want me to do DK then, huh? Oh! No, they want me to do DK. Alright. Fine, I'll do DK. What if I wanted to create a picture of Chunky? I can't? You're not gonna let me do that? Mm. Oh, 
Hater. Definitely getting there. All right. Yeah, let me let me play around a little more with some of these areas I've previously visited, and then I'll at some point end stream in the next like 15 minutes. All right, that's Diddy. But might as well get these bananas while I'm remembering, you know. And then I'll I'll climb up the castle next stream. That's what I'll do. And for now, I'll just focus on pressing some of these switches I couldn't do before. I know there was a separate area. I don't remember how to get there as Tiny, but there's a separate area with Tiny I could have gotten to. Oh, banana. Alright, what, what do you want me to do here? What's the catch? Oh, that's the catch. Oh, do I? I probably have, I just have to sniper shot the switch, I think. Right, there was a switch above that chair. I guess you want me to sniper shot that. There we go. If I do it now, I aim very precisely. Black count? It does. Oh, it's supposed to be like motion censored. Okay, I like that. I like that. Very nice, very nice. Actually getting there. Yeah, it's gotta be like a motion sensor thing. That's funny. All right, and there's one more switch across from here. Which I want to say was lanky, but let me double check. Yep, that's lanky. All right. Let me grab our lanky boy. Hey, how you doing? Bye bye. Good job, Lanky. I'm proud of you. Ooh, all right. Gotta press it again. I still don't fully know what the upgrade was. Oh, I gotta float around. Oh, oh, it's a bonus game. I swear to God. Watch that be the beaver one. The game doesn't have the balls to make that be the beaver one. Careful about the, the poisonous floor here. But how did I miss that coin? Really wish I could see. There's no drop shadow, unfortunately, right there. To help me. There you go, I got that coin. Okay. That's. Nope, nope. Please undo. Please, oh my, oh, I'm not gonna be able to shoot it. Am I? Oh shit, how am I gonna? No, cause that's stupid, no. I should not be standing on this ledge right now. There we go, that was close. All right, please don't be the beaver one. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh, this one's not bad. I think I remember this one. This one's not terrible. Hit as many crumblings as you can. Yeah, that 
one's not bad at all. You just gotta be fast enough and you'll eventually hit enough. Luckily, it's not based on points. If it was based on points, that would be a lot trickier. But it's only based on number of uh, crumblings you hit, so that makes that one a lot more bearable. All right, so that should be all the character switches in this area. So from here, I gotta figure out that one area with the tiny switch, and that's probably all I gotta do for now. Oh, that was, that was close. Alright, let me see if I can get this lanky point on here. There we go. Just never know if I'll need him. Alright. Somewhere around here there is a tiny Kong switch. Not in this same area, it was in a different area, but... It was somewhere in a previous area I've explored. Not in here, though. I'm trying to remember where it was. Right, because that was here. Oh, where am I supposed to go? I want to say I want to head back this way. Yeah, this is the right direction I want to go. Yeah, I did that as tiny. There was another underground area, and I don't remember how I got there. Oh, you know what? I was probably along this path here. Well, actually, hmm. Let me check something real quick. No, not here. I feel like there was a red door. Was it the red door path? I feel like I remember this path coming up. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, crap, crap. All right, there we go. I'll be on the lookout for that door. But I think that's what I'm looking for in here. Because that was, what's up here? Oh, the Diddy uh, jetpack, right? Oh, I see. So that leads there. That was the other entrance of that area, but it's not where I want to go. There's something down here, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, I was too high up. I'm pretty sure it was along here. Assuming this doesn't take me to loop. Which you could. Which you could. No, I think this is new. Yeah, it was at this door. Oh, no. Bro, that was a loot. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right, back up. Where was it? Maybe it was farther down? I'm genuinely just trying to remember. Oh, there's nothing below me here. Okay, there is here. That's the boss gate. Okay, it might have been this door. I think it might have been this door. Yeah, this might be it. Let me check here. Yeah, okay, this is where I want to go. Where's the um, the little shack? Yeah, this one, okay. This is what I'm looking for. Also, I, I, now that I think about it, did I need to press the thing, the switch as chunky two in the other area? I'll double check that before ending. Bucks, I did the lanky thing here. So I just need to do tiny. Yeah, okay, here we go. Mmm, that's some good old platforming there. Oh, banana. Oh, they sink in and out of the goo? See, I don't like that. That I do not like at all.
Oh! Please do not start me at the beginning of the level. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for taking pity on me, Rare, this one time. Oh, man. All right, ow. You know that feeling when something gets stuck in your eye? Bro, I hate that. It's like a little crusty thing or something. It's the worst feeling. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. All right, let me wait on this other guy. Camera! Oh, close. All right, that was pretty close. All right, if I jump in now, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> All right, I think there... If I remember correctly, I think I did have to hit a switch as chunky in that other area. So let me double check real quick, and then I'm going to end stream. Well, end the gameplay portion. I got to set up Saturday stream. But... I feel like I did have to hit a switch as chunky if I remember correctly, so let me go do that before I forget. I did whatever I had to do as Diddy and Donkey, though, if I remember correctly. Oh, that was scary. Hey, thanks. Big head mode, hey. Hear me out. I'm gonna lull you to sleep with my triangle. Bye. Yeah. All right, a little more chunky. Perfect. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, I did this part as Donkey already, right? I just want to confirm. Yeah, okay, I remember doing that. Maybe I. Maybe I did. Well, now I don't know. One more time, please. There we go. All right. The constant sounds of the, the dead in the background. Okay, no, I did do this. I did do this. All right. And there's nothing else to do, right? There's no other switch to press. Never mind. Oh, although. Oh. Interesting. Does this give me anything, or is this just beating up a bunch of enemies? Huh. No, I guess I was just beating up a bunch of enemies. Didn't know I could do that. There we go, there's something new. These I already did, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I got everything in these coffins here. But I didn't do whatever that was, so... There you go, there's something new. Alright. Hopefully with that, that should be most, if not everything, in previous areas that I didn't collect or I couldn't collect. Right? If we look at the... Um, take a look at the count now. We should be looking pretty good. The only blueprint I'm missing is Tiny, which is good. I've got, yeah, 3 out of 5, 85, 3 out of 5, 70, 2 out of 5, 60... I still need to do the most with Tiny. I'm missing a lot of stuff with Tiny. Otherwise, we're, we're in pretty good shape. To definitely finish this, and then I need to challenge more Banana Fairy. I definitely should be able to finish this level next stream. Maybe even start the 8th world, but that I'd be a little more hesitant on. But I should definitely be able to finish Creepy Castle. Look at that. I mean, at this point, it's like, come on, look at that total. There's no way I... I should totally go up to the 100%. I, I want to go up to the 100%. I'm so close. I'm literally so close. Like, I might as well try to. I'm literally missing 25. Wait. Wait a Is this where, like, the 104% completion comes in? Because that actively doesn't make sense. Because... Probably be, okay, this total isn't counting DK Isles. 
Because, yeah, then 25 times 8 would be 200. That'd be the levels, but... Or... Unless... But, no, there. I imagine there's an 8th level. Unless there's not. Unless Creepy Castle's the final level. And you get a boss key from King Caver. I don't think that's the case, but... No, because then there'd be a bonus crown. There's two bonus crowns. That you can, no, there, okay, there's an 8th level. It's just for the banana count, they only count the ones total. They only count 200, being the ones in the levels. All right. Interesting. All right. Okay. Yeah, let me save there, and we're gonna... Um, I'll do a quick save state, too. I do want to check my uh, completion percentage while I'm here, though. Might as well. I like to do that at the end of every stream just to see where I'm at. I'm gonna guess, like, 85. That's my guess. I'm gonna guess 85. Rah, rah, rah. We're getting there. Throw the barrel, bro. What we got? 84. Okay, that was pretty, pretty on the dot, pretty on the nose there, but very nice with 175 golden bananas. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's wrap up stream here. That's that's the gameplay portion. Thanks for watching that. Putting up with that, especially regarding the. Uh, Man, that stupid, uh, that stupid beaver minigame, that just, like, completely drained me. That was absolutely atrocious. That was so bad. Okay, no, I'll not do it. Mm. I'll do it. You're welcome, Rare. Alright, let's set up. Saturday stream. Yes, so stream will be, I'm not streaming tomorrow night, thank goodness, I'm too tired. Thank you. Shout out again to Luke for subscribing. God, I hate my YouTube short recommendations. Granted, that's on me. That's my fault. I created a new one for this. Um. Oh, you know what did I call? Hold up. What did I call the 2D Sonic one from a while ago? Because it's gonna be a similar thing. I just want to see what I called it. It's going to be from a while ago. This would have been like definitely last year, but when last year? Oh, no, not the ads. Okay, thank goodness. Dun, 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 dun. Where is it? Was it really after then? Wait, when did I... When did I do this last? Or was it older? Wait, maybe this is older than I realized. How many hours do you have in this game? Oh, hey, Axel Shadow. Hey, Pinata. Um... Damn, your Wi-Fi died? Yeah, I'm tired. Um, 31 so far, 31 hours. I just checked the count. Man, okay, it's really been a lot longer than I realized. Really? Then when did I do it? Because I did the Castlevania one last Halloween, right? But where was the 2D Sonic one? Did I miss it? Where did... What? I'm trying to remember what I called this thing. 2D Sonic happened. Yes, it did. Don't say it didn't happen, because it did. What the fuck? I 
I'm having like a Berenstein Bears, Berenstein Bears moment right now. It wasn't the Sonic Plus Origins launch. Nope, there was another one. Where the hell is it? Did I not keep the stream archive? That's wild. It wasn't Sonic Mania Encore. That's strange. Hmm. Interesting. Let me search for Sonic. See what comes up. There's gonna be too many results. I just wish I remembered what I called the stream. Okay, because I have a because I have a live stream clip of it. No, is that Sonic Origins? Okay, no, I found it. I found it. I found it. 2D Sonic Bonanza, March 4th, 2023. Wow, so it's been over a year. All right. Didn't mean to wait that long to bring that back. Oops. Okay. I don't know why that didn't come up in the live stream footage, but there it is. Um, I don't even know what I want to call this stream. I guess... Is that... Sure. I'll call it that. I'm waiting for that ad to kick in. Gotta be ready for the mute button. Like I said, this will be Saturday's stream. I'm busy Sunday and I don't want to stream tomorrow because I'm going to be tired as fuck. I'm already tired as fuck. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Maybe I'll watch a movie. Play some more Bellatro. You know how it goes. It's not under stream assets, that's fine. Um, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Even my computer's tired. It's taken like a whole five seconds to open up Notepad. 
My computer's exhausted, too. <laughs> There. Okay, good. It's about time I finally stream a Mega Man game. Perfect. Oh. Oh, the computer's really slowing down now. <laughs> the camera's stuttering. All right, it's a good time to end stream. That's just what we need, Kong. That's my boy Snide's theme right there. That'll be Saturday. It'll start at 6 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Set it to ultra low latency so you all see the proof. See that right there? Proof of ultra low. So you don't create an issue from last weekend. Again. Post it. Oh. Oh, I have to choose a correct answer. I guess it's not a poll. Don't look at the correct answer that's cheating. I don't know why it's like. <laughs> why are you showing a correct answer? something up before I type this. Is it Flame Hyenard? Yeah, okay, it is Flame Hyenard. Just make it sure, just make it sure. I want to get my facts right. Saturday. Reminder to go live at noon. Beautiful. All right, everybody. That is going to do it. Now, that is going to do it for the stream. I know my camera's stuttering. Ignore that. Quite an exhausting stream, mainly because of that stupid um, beaver minigame, but getting through that made it better. 
and uh, got some good progress on in Creepy Castle, so hopefully should be finishing Creepy Castle next stream. Um, in terms of upcoming streams, so this coming Saturday night, it's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern, an hour earlier than usual. Um, for this weekend's weekend stream, I'm going to be going through, and I've been meaning to do this for a while, I've had this idea for a while, of um, playing through the two Mega Man X Legacy Collection games, and uh, just kind of going through and um, bringing back the randomizer wheel, because apparently it's been over a year since I've done that, which is wild. Um, set that up and kind of do that. I think that could be a lot of fun. And then, like, every so often switch, kind of like we did with uh, 2D Sonic and Castlevania before. So, and it's, come on. I need to stream a Mega Man game. It's been a long time coming. So I'll do that. Um, also, next Tuesday, we'll say Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, will be more Shadow of a Hedgehog. We'll another couple runs there, which um, all of you can vote for in the chat if you're interested. And next Thursday should be more uh, DK64. Hopefully, like I said, wrapping up Creepy Castle, but... That is going to do it for tonight's DK64 stream. However you watch, always say this live in the chat or not, or watching the VOD after the fact. Appreciate you being here. Makes it more fun to interact with you while I deal with the craziness that is stuff like that Beaver minigame. So I appreciate you all being here. Um, I do want to give a very special shout out to everybody who did show up live in chat tonight. So Pinata, Axel Shadow, Neto, you guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Um, new viewer, Luke. Shout out to Luke again for subscribing. Really appreciate it, Luke. Um, thanks for jumping into chat here. Craig as well. Good to see Craig. So good, solid crowd tonight. Good to see all of you here and interacting in the chat. It made it a lot more fun. So thank you for being here. Um, another Mario Maker video. I, I'm working on the Shantae tier list. Hopefully soon. Hopefully you'll see that this weekend. We'll see. And then other videos coming out as well. And like I said, the streams that I mentioned before. But with that, thank you again for watching. If you're interested, Saturday night will be Mega Man X. Otherwise, hey, hope you have a good weekend. Hope you get to take it easy and chill or do whatever makes you happy. And practice self-care and all that jazz, as always. And I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.